All good. All right, we're up. All good. Up. Did I not? Did, I just, did this happen correctly or no? What's that? Let me retweet. We're up on YouTube. Yeah. All right, good morning. Hope we survived this fucking horrible blizzard. Kids at two hour delay at school in Lexington today. That's the only tweet I saw about the snow. It was about Lexington specifically. Half day on Friday. Kids, how's it been? The middle school said, oh, it's hard. You have been in school for an hour. Oh, really? Jeez. Fucking stupid. So Just cancel annoying. the day. You know, the teachers don't want to do that. So dumb. You know, you know, they don't want to waste it. Miss, yeah. He's working in, in June. So right. It's a fucking scam. I hate to sound like Jerry or Dave, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> so aggravating. Anyway, what are you going to do? Yeah. Did you just get here? Yeah. Tough. Dave gave me the wrong. He sabotaged me. Would you understand? I did sabotage him. I actually had Why? a typo in my, in my address text to him. You've been here before. Like That's what I ago. said. <laughs> two years ago. So you can look it up. I know. Well, I did. I put in 327 and right. I showed up at what, a liquor store. What time did you get there? Like 9, 10, 9, 15. It took you 20 minutes to get from 327 to 372? I walked around. I walked in. You didn't text Dave? I did. I DM'd Dave and then he gave me his number. And now I'm here. I was here before you. I saw you in the, I saw you walking around. You avoided me. We were walking Yeah, I'm not going to walk in with you. It's yeah. my, it's my, the show starts at 930, but you're not supposed to be here at 929. Listen, I, I did my best. I, I thought I'm listening. I, uh, you've been here before. I know. I'm sorry. I, I, I'll be more. Uh, I'll be more alert next time. I, I, that's not going to be. I don't think a big concern. I think there's going to be. A next I, time. Really would, I, I really would. I really think there's going to be a next time. I really would more. You Last time, look, he kind of looks like Clemmer a little bit. He does look don't like Clemmer a little bit. You do look a little bit like look, a little bit like Clemmer. Yeah. All right. Fine. You do. I'm not. A, I'm not the biggest Clemmer fan. So. Okay, well, that, that was could, a little shocking to me. He didn't war. remember where the studio was. It's, it's just kinda, stupid. I it's mean, kind of a, we're a fan of the show. Every, we have people come by here all the time. I know. People fucking threaten the bomb. I mean, people, right. everyone knows it. 372 Main Street Water. Come on by. <laughs> all right. I know now. It's not that complicated. <laughs> I mean, Next Friday. Call you knows. You got people, you know, looking at his kids' schools, oh, texting yeah. them. I mean, it's never end. Normal yeah. stuff. What yeah. was up with that tweet, Dave? Oh, you know, just somebody thinking they should put myself and my father on a group text the other night because that's a normal thing. It was actually your. It was their landline. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. What can you do? Yeah. Anyway. That person doesn't know that though. Oh, I understand that. No, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. It's fucking I'm sick. giving it a pass. Yeah. Of course it is. I know. Of course. And these people are nuts. Yeah. I've told you that. Yeah. Uh, what's going on? Uh, you want a little update about um, the facility? Oh, yeah. Let's do it on the second. Okay. So it's Beyond Average Mick. Yes, sir. Who has worked for over two years and has figured out that Stephen Paddock did the Las Vegas shooting, correct? Yes. Did you, okay, congratulations yeah. Yeah. on that. No, I'm when sure you've that? heard rumblings about that. Well, I've listened to some of the podcasts. You've been working on the Las Vegas shooting podcast <laughs> for like... About, since, about a year and a half. Since like before the shooting, I think. It's about a year and a half. I don't I even mean, think Jason Aldean was born when you started this <laughs> I'm thing. I'm taking after the Kirkman and way and delaying yes. it. You know uh, what I meant to tell Mike if I was here the other day? Uh, is, did you see Mike like going at Twitter with some Nesson guy the other night? Mike you see Gary this? did? Yeah, Mike Gary. Mike, I'm worried about Mike. I'm, I think Mike is starting to sink into like 2000. We talked about this the other I day. I know. That thing is just, it's getting to him. It needs to be funny or else it's, a blind it pisses thing? him off. Yeah. Is that what he's going with the Nesson guy about? No, no, no. Oh. This, this was, the Nesson guy had some dumb, do you see this, Mick? He had some dumb tweet about how, fuck, let me look it up. It was the context where he was at a bar and everybody was like complaining about something. He was sitting alone at a bar and everybody was complaining about something. Mike called this. him on his bullshit, basically. Let me see this. Yeah. Mike, do I follow him on Twitter, Mike? I do. Yep. Blind Mike underscore. Yes. He's taking questions right now. I just saw. Oh, good. Q and A. MMA. For the next uh, show of his, which is blindmike.net. Go subscribe. Uh, would this be his, his like replies one? Yeah, or? it was a couple of days ago. It was probably the day before the last show. Let's Tweets see. Tweets and replies. Let's yeah. see here. Sammy P. Let's see. That asshole. Sammy P. Yes, you got it. Sitting in a bar in Newton, and everyone is going nuts for Brady, except the one guy in the corner saying Brady is oh, shit that. without I Belichick, right? That. So he goes at it. This guy goes at him, blah, blah, blah. I just see Mike's quote tweet. He did more? Uh, no, they just went out like three or four times. Wait, the Mike saying I don't see that. I just see Mike saying it to him. Oh, and you work with Ness and you no longer have time for civilians. Correct. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have a little uh, battle. But I looked this guy up. You call him a dork, Mike? Really? <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> really got him. Jesus Christ. Oh my boy, God. Mike. I like that, Mike. I'm, I'm actually worried about I'm actually worried about Mike at this point. Like that, we talked about off the air, I think. Yeah. Because yeah. you oh, you weren't here. Yeah. We had a call the other day about Mike, and Mike got really upset about the, at this caller. He's gonna say he didn't when he's here Sunday or whatever, Monday. Yeah. But he you could tell he was well, triggered then by the it. The same caller on the last episode with Steve called in. Right. Yeah. Asked yeah. The I, same and I think Mike knew he I think Mike got a Got a mulligan. But he was fine with it. Yeah. But you yeah. got, okay. So you guys are in on that. I didn't think Steve would be in on that joke. <laughs> no, I like Steve listening to the show if you listen to the <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. No, no chance. Yeah. Um, he had a tweet too that somebody, I think, asked, like, are, were you always blind or something? And he was like, no. Like, it was yeah. obviously yeah. sarcastic. Yeah, I think so. he's, yeah. I think, but yeah, 
Call the guy a dork. Yeah. <laughs> He's a dork. Yeah. We'll but he was about. at the, he was also in Las Vegas the night of the shooting. That guy. You think he did it? I don't know. Who did knows? Did you talk to him yet, Mick? No, but now I'm interested. Yeah. I was what's saying the name, that What's could the be... name of the podcast? Uh, I haven't named it yet. I really haven't. No. You really haven't? No. Okay. I tend to do that. I talk a little extra when I'm nervous, so sorry. Okay. What are you apologizing for? Uh, this is a big deal for me. I'm like okay. a make a wish kid today. You sure are. <laughs> and let's hope it ends like it usually does with them. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like John Cena. You did now. this booking, by the way. Yeah, you did. Yeah, well, well that like one guy Minahan exclusive. With, uh, Hal, Al, yeah. Al, 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 Al. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which is probably yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. No. his message like seventy six yeah, times. You ruined the gimmick. I'm you, like, just put the guy on. You're not going to believe <laughs> you, this. You ruined the gimmick. You're not going to believe. It. I had no idea that he was doing that. I I promise I can't you, I didn't. Believe it, I didn't. Mick, I really. Did I don't it. know what to say. I really did it. He sent me a screenshot. He said, "You're going on Kirk's show." I was like, "What are you talking about?" Unbelievable. But he did. He but the amount of messages he sent that's concerning. He, oh, it's go. That's it's going back. Very concerning. Years. Four, four yeah, months. Years. No. no. Oh, four months. I was hoping it would go at least six months. Why was he? Months. What is his? Is this the guy, your partner on your old show? No, this is my brother. It's my older brother. Your old brother is Al. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so it's not the guy who came in with you before the Sako nope. show? Because the guy oh. you you don't do the show anymore, right? We've taken a little hiatus. A little hiatus. Yeah. Okay. Like how long has it been? Um, let me think. It was like September, I think. Okay. So like five months, four yeah. months. Okay. It so took the summer that, off. That's not a hiatus. That's, yeah. You're not oh, doing yeah. the show anymore. We haven't been doing it recently. Yes. The guy you did the show with is one of the all-time drips. Why do you hate him so much? I don't hate him. He's just a drip. He doesn't think, listen to the show. I, I, I he, he doesn't. Which is, I, I have no does. problem with that. He listens to the show. He has no personality. At I think all. you would like him because he's so like authentic. He doesn't try to play up or anything. I thought you. Yeah, would... but he's still boring though. He like, might be a little bit of a drip. That's yeah, okay though. Th 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 nothing against the guy. He's just boring. So I mean, I'm the show. If you yeah. had to name your podcast right now, what would it be called? What titles have you worked through? Oh, man, I mean, well, what it's about is basically just debunking the official narrative because the official narrative is complete crap. You and don't think that he did the shooting? No, I think he did the shooting, but there's so much more than that doesn't make any sense. That's and for sure true. Yeah. Like, what, mean, have you, what have you uncovered? What new well, information in, do you have? Well, when I was in Vegas, I was very, I was curious because a lot of the 911 calls that come out of You were in thing, Vegas when? For my brother's bachelor party in late August. You were doing some research while you were there. No, uh, I mean, just, just kind of looking around and I, we uh, were around. Looking the around? We were on the Mandalay Bay and if you're you- were, You were at Mandalay Bay? We were. Looking we were right, around. We were yeah. around, we were looking around okay. and then- You have any socks on today. It's I do have socks on. You have just the okay. vans I, I want your feet. I want your feet. Okay. Go ahead. All right. All right. Okay. Vomit. Go ahead. That's funny. That actually went through my head today. Um, but no, I- uh, It's funnier later on probably, Dave. <laughs> We, we were at the Mandalay Bay and the, my biggest thing out of the 911 calls is yeah. were people actually seeing people shooting people? Because a lot of these calls are saying we, there's gunmen in the lobby of the Bellagio or there's gunmen. Sure, in so people panic. And, right. So yeah. what I thought maybe is there's people running from the concert. But what I've been able to confirm through talking to many people is no, we see people. Who have you been talking to? Look at you. A couple different people. Like you talked to Sammy P. He ran. Well, one of the editors, editors, he ran. Sammy right. Pussy is his, his last name. Dork. Sa Sammy D. Sammy Dork. dork. Yeah. <laughs> Where you run from Dork. <laughs> Dork. <laughs> one of the editors in Las Vegas, one of, from yeah. the Vegas papers. Did you talk from, to uh, uh, Mama Geary? I've not yet. Huh. Mm. I didn't know how to break the ice with that one. Mm. Yeah. Heard you were here. A lot of ice. Pretty warm. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'd say. But no, I, I was able to get a lot of the information because one of the uh, editors is from Falmouth and I'm from the Cape. The so. editors of what? I'm sorry. Uh, one of the Las Vegas papers. Oh, the journal? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's yeah, from so Falmouth. Was, yeah, okay. from right around where I live. So. Yeah, get up your source right away like that. Greg That's Bedard was probably there for a little bit, right? Uh, oh, no, that was way later. <laughs> oh, but he pretend he had that weird job. He had a Remember? job for like a week, right? Like an hour. He was, yeah. But that wasn't them, was it? Are you saying so, he was involved? No. You don't know, first never of say all. No. Never, never say no. Never say no. Until you get more information. But he was with the Las Vegas Review, so maybe he has some intel. He was, but he yeah. never actually took work like, there, probably. Yeah. Like a week or something, right? You're right. Yeah. He's in my skinny weird group. Oh, definitely. Although I was watching, uh, flipping around the other night, the new Name That Tomb was on. Randy Jackson is the champion of that. There's <laughs> yeah. nobody even close. Yeah. He's like alarmingly thin now. Oh, very thin. Yeah, yeah like he almost yeah. like has an eating disorder. I mean, you were right on. Probably Al, Al Roker is the top. I don't know. Team, Randy but, Jackson. But he gained a little weight. Fucked up. Yeah. Like Randy Jackson needs to put on like 20 pounds. Yeah, I agree. I think. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't. And the woman who hosts that show is terrible. I watched a couple minutes of it. Um, From 30 Rock and... uh, 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 uh Allie McBeal and she was in vacation. Oh, I know Jane. Yeah. Um, Jane, so, yeah, Krasinski, 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 Krasinski. Yeah, something you know what I'm like talking that. about. Yep, yep, yep. Total drip. Elizabeth Burke was one of the guests. Had a little bit of life. Tisha Campbell was on. Not yeah. great. Thirty Rock is uh, absolutely top ten most underrated comedy. I'll tell you the most overrated show of all time. And I, I was on the front of this hype train. I'll jump in front of it. Milf Manor was a disaster. <laughs> I watched 90 it's seconds of tough it. tough to hear. I wanted to vomit when I watched this show. How do you watch these shows? These people are so vapid That's, and so stupid. TLC doesn't do it right. I it's, can't. It's Andy so Cohen or dumb. Bust. Yeah, Bravo so they all, they all come in at the beginning. 
like all the moms come in and they sit at the bar and just kind of talk to me. They're so empty. I, I was like, I can't, I can't, I cannot watch this program. Yeah, I was getting like, yeah. I was getting upset. Yeah. So James, I turned this, it off. Is this you and the missus watching this? And I, this? By the way, I call, I call the twist. Yeah. It is the sons. All, you know, they're all there. They're, oh, so you got, you got it right. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. Like, I was I wandering. Yeah, it, yeah. Retroactively. I, but I, I can't, I will not, I will. I will not be watching Milf yeah, Manor. Yeah, it's just the dumbest concept of all time. Gilf yeah. Manor, I might give a shot. <laughs> Milf Manor, I'm not. I yeah. will not watch it. Yeah, yeah. I will not watch it. So title of this podcast, like you got to play off Al Dean, right? You have to, like one of his songs. Wait, I wait, think so. What, what do you mean? Like name it after like old yeah, like, song? Dirt Road Anthem. Yeah, Is there yeah, a yeah, play off of that? Really that? Big green, <laughs> no, he's not Big Green Tractor, right? It was something like no, that. No, you know, he's Big Green Tractor. Why don't you ever reach out to Dave or myself or Steve that we could produce it under the case banner? I mean, I don't mm. want to be rude, but I've I've sent many emails. I've sent okay. many, Not to many. Me. Well, I don't want to bother you. To who? To Steve? To Dave. Well, that's that about that's about the network stuff. Yeah, about, more about, the about your show, not about this show. Dave doesn't yeah. seem to. Have you put out like FOIA requests? Have you talked to? No, I haven't done that. I haven't okay. done any of that. Have you talked um, to any witnesses? I've talked to witnesses. I've talked to people there. I've talked to police officers uh -huh. there. I've talked to EMS workers. Wish talked a lot. There. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what? Come on. <laughs> Which Christian? That's his name, right? Is yeah. that like a, is yeah. that been there? Is God. this like a thing? I didn't even know that like the Las Vegas shooting had like an underground. Oh, sure. Uh, it's like yeah. anything else, of yeah. course. But it's it's no, big we've enough. talked about this. It's yeah. wildly crazy underreported. I think it could be interesting. Yeah. Are you gonna host it, narrate it? Yeah, I'm okay. gonna, and I'm kind of going by what you were doing for I guess season one of the case where I'm writing it out, you know, kind of word for word. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the I think for sure for the first one, especially if it's like that and it's documented, it's you should definitely do that. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. How many episodes do you think? Four to five. Okay. Probably about 45 minutes each. You can do it in like the 100th anniversary of the shooting? Does that seem to be the... <laughs> when is this going to be released? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're shooting do we have, for. Do you have in your mind when this is going to be released um, to the world? I said January 2023. That hasn't happened. Um, I would say before the springtime, for sure. Before. Oh, so it's going to be... All right. Okay. It's going to be released like just on your own little... Thing. I've already written two of the scripts. You um, have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just haven't hmm. recorded them, but I've written them out. How much... How much... It, Sal will be there from inter people who are interviewed and stuff like that. It'll be kind of like teased, like, you know, talk about it in the beginning and then go to something else where it's like if uh, the beginning of the episode, if the survivor's talking about something, go back to it later on. I don't know. I kind of have a whole plan for it. So hmm. it's stuff to, but definitely we'll include phone calls, talking to people, witnesses, stuff Good. like that. Have you, you haven't gone back out to Vegas to... No, not since. Not since no. the bachelor party. Is that hotel room not used anymore? No, the whole floor shut down. They shut the, Ooh, ever since? Whole floor. You know, it's owned by the Saudis. The, the top yes. four floors are owned by the Saudis. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I did know that. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. interesting little tidbit there. There you yeah. go. Look at that piece of news right there. Yeah. Wow. Saudis will not be buying WWE, by the way. That was confirmed. I could not. Day. Yeah. Nick Khan's cock was so far down Bill Simmons's throat oh that I God. wasn't. It was. He sounds exactly like John Stewart, by the way. Ooh, I couldn't Nick not Khan? hear John Stewart. Yeah, yeah not. Our Remember, they were going to do a, a that Vince McMahon thing together, Nick Khan and Bill. Yes. And look, I like Bill, but that was like a here's a landing spot. We are going to you know, say whatever you want. Yeah. And like, and then the next day. You find out Reed the Chatterhorn yep. settles with McMahon on a rape charge for yep. like five, six million bucks. Yeah, Bill Simmons really expanded on the point that Nick Khan made when he said that uh, basically Vince McMahon brought back people for the board that knew he was fucking around in the right, past. Right. And Bill Simmons didn't challenge him whatsoever. Bill, I, on that. Simmons kept doing the, you know, basically critics say. Yeah. It's like, well, all right. I mean, yeah. it was whatever. Yeah. yeah. The, so, so this other thing's not going to happen, according to him. So, yeah, no. I don't know. What else? Uh, do you want an update on the oh, uh, yeah. Grill on so, the Hill? So Dave was a Grill on the Hill yesterday. Yep. So I think we're going to do... Begging, uh, begging you basically to get out of it, but you wouldn't take the bait, unfortunately. Out of what? Well, you asked if we were going to do something in a studio. Yeah, oh, I, I said, know, you know, I was like, doing everything in my power to get yeah. you to say, come I back. Said, I said it was fine. No, I, know. I talk, called you. Yeah. I know. Um, do you guys think we should do raffle or just a sprint for the tickets? Raffle. I agree with that. Yeah. Raffle. I think so. Because yeah. first of all, I have bad news. What? That room cannot hold yeah. 100 people. That's what I also That's figured. Yeah. yeah, 70 people max. All right, so we'll call it, you want to call it 60 then? Uh, you no, say I think 70, we're, we're good with 70. 70 you're okay with. Yeah, it'll be, and it'll be tables. People will be sitting at tables. So I think that was like Madawaska, the first one. Yeah, the first one. The first Madawaska. You yeah. weren't at that, were you? No, but that's You weren't at pictures. Nope. Have you ever been to a live show? Wilbur. Did the Wilbur. Both shows? Just one. First uh, one. Okay. Yeah, yeah you wrote a, he wrote a blog about it. I remember that. He wrote a blog about that Wilbur show. Yeah. Where? He had like a minute fan blog. blog. He didn't keep oh, it. Forget it. The yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't, remember he I don't know that one. No, I remember sorry. that was like the only review of the show. How active has that been lately? Not active. Okay. Not what do you do? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I mean, I've been working. I've been taking a little break from like, I guess the. What do you do for a living? Uh, I bartend and then I work as a uh, like production associate for this right. so media a, company. So you have a real job now. Okay. Yeah. No, it's not nothing crazy. But I. I Where moved, do you live? I went to New York last year 
got the job, was able to work from remote. And so mm-hmm. I've been working with them plus bartending in the summertime. Where do you live? Cape Cod. Oh, you came here from the Cape this morning? Yeah. Oh, we're grateful. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, nice area. I like the Cape. South, yeah. Way down the Cape or right Dartmouth, over the bridge? Right in the mid-Cape. Okay. It's a good spot. Yeah. I'm not a Cape guy because I'm I'm a Maine guy, but I, I, I don't... I don't have a beef with the Cape. Yeah, traffic. It's just... Uh, My Aunt Teresa and Uncle it, Joe are down there. They're the greatest. So, you know, yeah. it's... They try, yeah, I mean, but not now. No, but that, you're, nobody's going Yeah, but it's now. like anything else, though. I, I, I understand that, but, like, don't leave on Friday at fucking 3 o'clock. Yeah, exactly. Leave on Saturday at 6 Some people don't have that choice. Like, sure they do. You, you can leave Saturday at 5 a.m. Oh, so, yeah, 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 work. No, yeah, no, no, no. I don't mean that, but I'm just saying don't... You can't bitch about that. You know it's coming. Yeah, it's the worst. It's the fucking worst. But yeah, what can you? do? It just seems worse than if if you vacation worse. in other spots. Like if you go to Maine, if you go to New oh, Hampshire, Maine is brutal. If you go to Rhode Island, Maine's, that's all fine. Maine, no, going to Maine's terrible. Well, it's Friday bad. The summer, I don't, I don't think it's disaster. like the Cape near the bridge. I don't think it's well, like the bridge. That. Is the, I don't know. I don't know why this bridge still exists. Yeah. Why have they not expanded this bridge? Why not shut down? I just thought a story about this this they week. Do, they do bridge work every single year. Forget, they start it right around May, work. too. It's the worst. Make it like fucking eight lanes on the bridge. Yeah. What are they doing? Why is this? Why are they doing this? It might do. So, it might have something to do with the environment because they shut down some oh, of the, the drive-in, God. like the drive-out beaches because the piping little plovers, oh, the little birds. Christ yeah, it's like you can't Jesus. go out on the beach because the birds are there. It's a nightmare. Christ. I mean, Dave spent a lot of time in the South, around that. Not the Cape. I've always been down the South Shore a lot lately. He was you no know, New Year's morning. He was in Cohasset for you know five six hours. I know that. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Dave. I'm yeah. the babysitter. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. <laughs> no, you can't find. No. Yeah. We 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 found. We yeah. just I, I just want to you know like this other stuff we talked about today. You want yeah. to know for sure. Yeah. People are getting weird with this story now. Like people are going. They want well, conspiracy, we're conspiracy. So fucking we're in bad. conspiracy world now. Yeah. That's inevitable though. Yeah. But I don't like. I have seen reported that the mother-in-law hired private investigators to follow her. I don't like that story. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah. I don't she seems like, like a nut. Yeah. No? I don't like that. You booked her yet? Uh, the mother in law? No. I haven't yes, you booked Brian Walsh yet. I have not booked Brian Walsh. Do <laughs> you lock? Uh, yeah, I'll put it down as a lock. We'll okay, get him. We'll get him from a back to grill cell. on the hill. Now we got yeah. to the Cape. 70 so, people max. 70 people. How was the. So walk me through the experience. Yeah. So you drive to uh, beautiful Worcester. Yeah, beautiful. One of the park. worst cities in the world, by the way. <laughs> the, the people, if you're. I mean, it's a total I'm, dump. Absolute shithole. Uh, it's it's come a long way in the last decade. Or is so. that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. A lot of so, construction going on there. But this is a nice part of town, I would say, Green Hill Park. Oh, I didn't realize that. A large park. The golf course, magnificent. Great facility. Yeah. Great facility. Uh, mm-hmm. So Justin manages basically that specifically the restaurant within that park. Let's call okay. it Green Hill. Green okay. Hill. Whatever. So you get there. Justin's I, there waiting for he you. He welcomes me. Shows me around. Is it like a serious tour? Oh, serious tour. Yep. Okay, so you yep. sit down and do the, go over the numbers? Uh, we Yeah, we were talking while we were walking. It was kind of like business okay. casual experience. Okay. Yeah. What's it going to yeah. cost us? Love to hear that combo. Um, we just have to make sure we cover the food costs, which we're estimating is going to be about $30 a person. That'd okay. Be, yeah. So that's going to come out of the John Stewart fund, right? Correct. Because okay. people, like, you don't want people to pay when they no, 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 there. No, and no, people no, no. So it's going to be... Yeah. Does he have a? Food? So it's twenty one hundred bucks, basically. Do you have a food menu, like a. Oh, I got a menu for what you. What do we got? Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, you got a lot to pick, but I just felt like. Are you putting in some uh, raffles for John Stewart? Maybe? Oh yeah. Did you Absolutely. know John? Uh, I did not know him. No. No. You never but, corresponded with him. No, he didn't. He, he didn't seem too active on Twitter. So I, yeah, he was really... kind of up and down. Yeah, he had his moments. John Stewart not active on Twitter. At what? least when I was like, well, he would be like oddly like active then not active, right? I could never figure out. Who. He had like nine accounts, didn't he? Uh, yeah, he did have two different accounts. But I loved the show when he came in. It was awesome. I He's thought great. he was one of the, the better uh, guests that have ever came Fantastic. in. Fantastic. All right. I just sent it to you. There's the whole, do you have a whole okay, plethora go. of items to choose from? Function so that, menu. That bro, narrative bro. of the show when Justin was in of the minimal menu. Well, he was in, he was in, it was him <laughs> saying it, not me. Yeah. A little Caesar salad. Yep. There's everything here. All right. So we're going to dinner here, correct? Yep. Holy moly. Yeah. You got a lot of options. Right, buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Some seeds. Yep. Yep. Pasta station. Carving station? I suspect we're not doing that, right? No. Uh, mac and cheese station. Oh, so it's got everything. All right. It's got everything. You got your choices. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right. So we'll do a nice... So that should be fine, right? I think so. Yeah. All right. So did you firm up that date? Yes. So the date is February 18th. They're good for that date. And then we No, have... I'm sorry. That's not right. Yeah. 16th. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Thursday. Thursday the 16th. 16th. After we're back. Yep. And we have a rain date. As well, the following week, if something were to happen for some reason. Oh, weather-wise. Yeah, it's Wednesday the 22nd at that point. Okay, so f- right, yeah. February 16th at whatever time, 7, th- whatever, 7, yeah. 7.30? I said 7, yeah. 7, okay. So we eat, then we do the show? Yep. Uh, is the John Stewart Memorial Celebration. We're going to donate some money. I think we're going to give some to that hearing one, some to the school. 
So I don't know. What's a reasonable? What was our raffle price for the VFW? Does anybody remember? Justin was telling me it was like thirty dollars. He thought. You get 30, 50 bucks. I think that's fair. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Think, oh, I was going to go cheaper than that. It seems yeah. okay to you guys. Uh, I was, I thought it would be cheaper, but when he said 30, 20 yeah. bucks. Okay. 20 bucks a shot. I'll do 20 bucks a shot. And if you do two, do we even get into that world or no? I don't think so. No. All right. It's all going to a good cause. It's, yeah, it's all, it's, it's all being, it's, it's all yeah. going to John Stewart. So, yep. Yep. Uh, all right. So, so we'll do whatever, 10 a day for seven shows leading up to it starting whenever. I don't know. When's a good time to start? Uh, let's see. So we got to do seven days. I'm doing raffle giveaways. You intended to probably like the week basically, before, right? Basically the first week of February starting. Fucking somewhere room 318 there. at the Mario with Dave and Jeff Lowe. I'll be reading <laughs> off uh, in Phoenix contest winners. We got a Super Bowl uh, meeting scheduled. Like the whole company is meeting. Yeah, I about know the, about get this. that one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 So we'll have that. podcast studio requests and everything. Great. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be busy. I'll be at fucking uh, <laughs> some saleswoman's having a fucking bachelor party the same day at the company and having a fucking... <laughs> Baby thing. What a great block. Well, that was great. So yeah. let's 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 pin this down though. Yeah. So we're going to announce when 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 do tickets go on sale? Uh, let's put tickets on sale next actually. week. Yeah, let's do like do you want to do Friday or when's let's the Let's do before schedule. that. Okay. I think we're going to do probably Sunday, middle of the week, and then Friday with Mike Montante will be here. Oh, my buddy Montante. You know that. Yes. Yeah. How about uh, the twenty fifth? Why don't we give him till Wednesday to build that out? Wednesday the twenty fifth. Yep. Tickets on sale. Tickets on sale. So we're doing a show Wednesday the 25th. Okay. Let me see. I mean, sure. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing anything that day. Wednesday the 25th it is. All right. Tickets go on sale. Raffles, 20 bucks a head, 20 bucks a pop. You think people will buy a shitload of them? I hope so. Definitely. Yeah. You think it was 30 bucks for the VFW? I That's don't want to be Justin wrong. Was saying. Well, I don't want to be wrong about that. Let's, okay. Let's, let's firm that before we put the price out there. All right. Because I don't want it to be, you know, I don't want to. Do it to the point where people won't buy a bunch either because yeah. we want to raise a bunch of money for this stuff for John. It's a big night for John Stewart. So. I agree. I agree. Uh, good. Okay. Excellent. How was Justin? Justin seemed great. Did he seem at all? Did you listen to the show from the other day? Yeah. Did he seem at all? The, the, the mentors guy brought up that thing where he didn't to want to do. I felt that way in the room yeah. during the show. Yeah. I didn't feel that way okay. post. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. I was actually a little like I went there and I tweeted out the picture of the facility. I was a little nervous about that, but he, 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 didn't, he would have said something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're doing that. Yep. And then, okay. So we're, it's in Worcester. Yeah. Seven, seven thirty seems right. You have people after work to get to Worcester's a pain in the ass during yeah. the weekday too. Yep. Now, so, do you, do you think Justin would do this just to, you know, if he was uncomfortable with it, do you think he would feel obligated to do it still? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. And you have no problem with that. No, I do it. That's why I'm asking. I do it. But I don't know. Cause you can never tell with him. I right. have no idea, but it's not, he doesn't, you know, he, because that's the mentors guy was like, oh, yeah, he he's really part point. of content. But no, yeah, yes. But also, it's not like we've spent a lot of time on Justin the last five months. No. Like he came in for John. He'll do this and then he won't be on for like five right. months. It's not that's, like, yeah. you know, even if he wants to come back, he's not, we're not having him back. Nothing like it's better for him not to be here. Yeah. I think it's fine if he's in once in a while, like Steve the other day. Like, yeah. I like the idea that people don't, don't leave here. And so far on this show, like people have actually been part of the show, like Harrison's back. Mm -hmm. Dave's here. Steve's back all the time. Justin can come back. Mike Lefty came back. I mean, sort of this reputation I have, I don't think is deserved sometimes yeah. because it seems like we're in a good spot. Everyone's like, oh, isn't badly. Carabas would come back here tomorrow in a yeah. second. I got, now. I got I mean, fired after 48 hours from working with you. And I'm correctly so. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You kicked me off the Sacco live show and I'm back. What are you talking about? <laughs> I was doing the Sacco live show, the pre-show. Sacco. Sex. Is that a, a Not right? Sacco. 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 Yes. What live? What are you talking about? <sighs> All you right. were on. You were on our Come show on. in Saco. No, I came in here to make a pitch. I remember that. And I was. We were the only Beyond Average is the only podcast that got put through. Oh, and then you got mad at me because I sent K Marco a tweet like months before. Oh, you deserve that. Then mm -hmm. yeah, that it's, there's no that that was after the K Marco fight, right? It was after the well, first fight, well, but not your, the initial. Well, that's your fault. Not the, not your, the, it's your fault. All right. I mean, uh, what do you want me to say? I what was the one where you were screaming? People were tweeting me to this week where you were screaming on. He said yes yesterday. It's a great drop. It, what's that? that? Is that about that? That's that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fucking loser. That was exactly what that was. Because <laughs> you tweeted out, you said, nope, these guys are done. And I just, I was so mad. I really was. Like, we went all the way up there. Fourth of July weekend. Got stuck in traffic. I was ready. To, I wanted to do the For live Saco? shows. No, no, this was coming here. Oh, gotcha. And wanted to do the live show so bad. Which and nobody would have listened to you guys doing that show before. No, but Saco. it would have just been fun. It would have been really fun. Yeah, well, you know, who, like, what fan of a podcast gets that opportunity to drive in, come in, pitch here yourself, now. and sit here? You guys so grateful. It's and, then, and then go out. I went for drinks with him after that show. You like, did. Oh, that's a real man. treat, Dave. Oh, thanks. You went for that's drinks? A great treat. 
You drank with the the show? Yeah, I did. I yes. Where? Everybody who came in that day. We all Where? went to the halfway he said, cafe. He acted like he bought me dinner. You I mean, did? Yes. I it was a classy move, move by me. It was a psycho move. No, it was a classy move. With who? By me. Who else was there? Whoever like tried out that day. Who's? Right? I don't remember. It's like Christian, me, Dave. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, he had the cologne on. Um, Rob, Madawaska Rob. Oh my God, that's yeah. you did that. Remember yeah, that? I'm an entertainer. What do you want from me? Oh, remember the guy, guy, like the weird guy who wanted to come in. He like brought like weed or something and he like wanted to show up yes. he wasn't allowed and he, he left like, the world yeah oh yeah the there guy, was an older guy who was a nice guy a very quiet guy oh the guy who um didn't we make I'm accusations about, toward yeah. him that he was was he the one yelling at the live show or we thought he was oh hammered drunk at some oh was that him i think so yeah like hip-hop polar on that day which oh, okay, yeah. he's working on something <laughs> i know right he is. We'll, we'll get there in a couple of days yeah what uh what else is going on? Um did you see here the, I don't know if this is real. Do you see this thing that Stephen Che took a day off yesterday because he's mourning the loss from the Bucks the other day? I think that's reasonable. That's a perfectly reasonable thing for an adult with children to do. <laughs> is that, that. Uh, Mick, you're a barstool guy, that's right? Fake. Like is yeah, that fake? That's, that's got it. Yeah, that's fake. He's a Come good on. actor then. Like the Yak audio took from a day it. Off yesterday. They lost on Monday. Well, he he was like, I could not miss Monday and take my lumps on Monday, but I was so upset about it that I. There's the thing. I don't want to get too far into sports. I'm going to save this for. I'm just going to say this. I'm going to save this for. Let's say next Tuesday at about seven o'clock on the different format. Hmm. Let's just say. Let's leave it out there now. Hmm. That format's my bathroom probably. I'm going to take a shower. (laughs) Okay. Um, that Bucks team like got some breaks this year. They should have won like four games. Uh, They're terrible. They're fucking awful. Awful. Brady stinks. Like it's it's fucking. I am so happy that he's doing this. He's gonna go. He's gonna go. I just saw that um, yesterday that uh, TB12 closed a deal with Win. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. So he's gonna be. They have a deal in Vegas. What? I just hate when you do this. I hate it when you did it the other day. I hate it when you. It's, I'm right. You're not right, actually. You think he's retiring from football? Yeah. No, but I don't. I like you're wrong about his whole TB12 thing. You're wrong Is about it really, all that. It's really stuff. taking off around the country. I bet it's doing really well. Where, Dave? Come on. Dave, come on, Dave. Who in your life have you seen? I know one talk person. About who? I know one. Per- who? One of my friends okay. went to it in Foxborough. You're, you're in, in Foxborough. That, you're yeah. in that area. Jerry told me all the time. He's like, they're going to be all over the country. They're going to be like McDonald's. You're taking Jerry Callahan's uh, expertise at building a business it's empire. To yours? He's doing so well right now. <laughs> yours? No, I'm taking Tom Brady's you built approach. That, you built that thing and not doing well Tom, right now. Okay. <laughs> you're the architect of that. Bob operation. Snyder was in the way. Bob Snyder was <laughs> in the way. Fair. No, but his plan was it's, never to be necessarily like in every it's, shopping it's mall. It's too weird to be like a huge brand. It might be a niche, like super rich asshole brand made, but even that... No, I see nobody talking about it. It has no. What's I think the he appeal wanted to be, for regular people who are athletes? Zero. And what is it? Like what I'm a Tom it? Brady. I'm a Sika fan. I even yeah. was a Pamp- Tampa Bay fan when he left. I'm like I'm I'm good with the Pats. All that. Wait, but like, hold on. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. You grew up here. Yeah. You stop being a Patriots fan because they let a 43 year old go somewhere else. No, no. no. I I was on record. It's exactly. Before. It's no, exactly no, 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 no. I was on well, record. You just said yes. For, I was on record before. If you, re- I don't want to do the sports thing. But if you want to do the sports thing, we can get really into it. If you want to, I'll, I'll go. I'll go hard into. I'm glad it you're right on the record. record. All right. Where are you on the uh, record? We can take over the show right now. Where are you on the? Sports. Where are you on the record? Uh, on my own podcast. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, you know, Yeah, you're. No, I you're didn't want to do the sports thing. I, I, I like that. I, quote. I forgot. I forgot that. Of course. So yeah. So you're on the record as what? No, I just said. I mean, they didn't. I didn't think they were prioritizing uh, prioritizing winning there, and it didn't seem uh-huh. like it seemed like ego kind of got in the way there. Okay. Yeah. Are you, mean, you Brady has no ego. Oh, huge ego. Okay. So are you back to being a Patriots fan now? Or no, no. No. You're a Tampa fan. Tampa fan, through and through. So you're going to be a Carolina, Miami, or no? This is that. So this is where it is. So you're going to be a Tampa fan next forever, year forever, no matter where you go. That's a fucking. Is that not the stupidest thing you ever heard in your life? That's a wild one. It's just like, insane. That's kind you know, of like I wasn't like a free like crazy Patriots clever fan. thing like, to I, say. Doesn't I make was, any sense. I was going to multiple games a year, away games, all that. Like we, you our grew whole up here. family. Yeah, your dad's we, a fan, right? I saw you. Tw- I saw you tweet him. Well, not really. He fucking bailed on the <laughs> Vinatieri game, but still, yeah, yeah. like. My dad would be so disappointed in me if I did that. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't like it. He's not. He's not. You're very not gonna. You're bullshit. It. Three years now, you'd be in the Tampa. That's just a fucking. Nut. Just, I'm telling Brady's you, he's not been gonna saying happen. this, but like, I, it's I not mean, gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I, I, you might believe it right now. No chance. And Brady's a fucking weirdo. He's gonna go to Las Vegas and play for Josh McDaniels. It's gonna be so. It's sad. Vegas or bust. There's it's no one. Be so sad. He there's can, no one else. He could still go to Miami, maybe. No, they're gonna resign two, and I think it would be he's a bad nine concussions. Yeah, though. well, what are they gonna do? They're gonna they're gonna just let him go. Hey, Was anybody luck, buddy? I don't want to do the sports thing. I know. I knew. I know Lou lost his job. Has anybody done? Have you done an investigation that Lou Maloney's take that Tua was in the gang? Remember, he said that Tua's <laughs> no, flashing no, his gang I, I have not. I'm going to have to look into that. Any more work on that one? <laughs> anyway, uh, what were we talking about? Oh, Stephen Chad. <laughs> yeah, it's just this tone. I mean, I guess it's not a big deal if you think he's lying, but I have no. Yeah. I know anything about this. Yeah. What's up? How are we doing? Good. Are you okay?
like move past things. So yeah, I'm working on myself. Wait, so you're, <laughs> not, you're not sick? No, my body was pretty sick the past like two days. <laughs> this is I'm not like a this, he's sick. a good actor. Then I don't know. Like I, I, I don't know. Dave, he's probably like, he's probably like in the studio. okay. Whatever. No, he was he called in, but whatever. Whatever. He's probably yeah. you know what I mean. He's yeah. probably at the movie. Listen, I started this by asking, did I get duped? I didn't know if you guys saw it clearly. So <laughs> well, I didn't know anything I about duped. this. I, guess I, mean, I, I, I mean, if he takes a loss hard, that's uh, why is he a Tampa fan? Not that I care really. He's like involved with the organization. He's like on the sidelines during yeah. the games. Yeah, but. Is he from there? I don't even know. I don't know. I I'm just assumed sure. he was from there or something. Oh, is that right? That's yeah. what I assumed. I, don't know, I, don't know. I actually like yeah. Stephen Shea. Yeah. Um, oh, I have uh, trivia next Wednesday. We're taping. Oh, okay. Very Me, nice. Quiggs, and Big Ev. Is that my team? Yeah. That's it? I was watching. Taking the, on Chaps. I was watching trivia Your buddy. tonight. Yes. How awkward do you think Rico's going to be when he plays you? Like, that's going to be worse than Clemmer, I bet. Uh, what's Rico's habit? Is he doing like the sad sack thing or what's he doing no like he's just kind of like i think he went back on one of the live streams last weekend so that yeah. was his first there he's blogging like crazy so i think he's just going about his business i don't think it's anything yeah like i said i don't know who's going to be in uh phoenix i have no idea yeah i know jeff d going to be there we're going to play mini golf i think we are going to see 80 for brady there uh, uh, be a treat. do a podcast after yep um brandon walker i know Probably Portnoy, I would assume, is going to be there that week. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Ryan Whitney, I know. I don't know. Kevin, I think. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Casey won't be there. She's her baby's due the same day, uh, Kate's birthday, February 12th. After that big extravaganza yesterday, they should have just, after they left, they should have <laughs> lit that building on fire. I mean, that, it's, that Francis blog was great. It was hilarious. <laughs> great. Very funny, but and very sad. Just sad to see this company. Like, you know, having a, people do do that. It's fucking barstool sports. What are we doing? Yeah. And they even do it for content, right? No, I don't. That's think the thing. It so. wasn't for. It didn't seem like it was for a joke. Right? Been any video you have already? to. You have to have that for stool scenes. Like you just have to. Have just it. have to do a video. Like yeah. have some humor attached. Like they're yeah. really. You said Kelly Keegs was crying or something. Well, it's emotional. You know. There's no way. Like I, I used to say this about Chris Curtis. I, maybe I was wrong, but the science probably stepped in. There's no way if there is a god that like Kelly Keegs would be allowed to reproduce. <laughs> there's no. There's just no way. It just wouldn't be allowed. <laughs> Like, God would reject that on, on principle, <laughs> I think. Yeah, you never know. And content cam with their stupid cookies. And like, oh, my God. That's like, isn't content. like shit like that why you bring in a content cam? Like, that's that's the content to you make can cookies? actually. No, but that's the content you can make with content cam. That, I like, guess. Those awkward, like, parties like that. I suppose. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I would not. Yeah. How's it work? What do they, they say? Content cam? Entertain us here? Help us out? To tell us about the family? What? Like, I mean, what is content Kim going to add to that? Yeah, like, no, but that's like her gimmick, the motherly figure yeah. of the office. So she would but be putting together. if it's not recorded together. at all, it's very yeah. like, I didn't see anything was, the other day, but I, I, maybe they have to, I would think, right? Yeah. Not that I would even want to watch it. Yeah, but. I would hope so. I don't know. Ridge Wallet is here. I know that. Ultra slim at minimalist wallet holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. Uh, over 30 colors and styles. Uh, secures from anywhere to two to six keys. Organizes your keys in a compact silhouette and fold out for easy access. There are six colors and styles. Is even Shea not in charge of the length of these commercials anymore, right? No. Who is that? <laughs> He's a contact guy. Uh, I don't know who it is in the traffic department. I don't have a specific name. There's a bunch of different people. Okay. Yeah. Um, but nobody's had problems lately about it. Oh, good. So, yeah. Go to ridge.com, R-I-D-G-E.com slash K-I-R-K. I use this. Go use it right now. Tempest off your order. Ridge.com slash K I R K. Ridge Wallet, we thank them for joining us as always. Uh, use code Kirk for 10% off your order. Get moving today with Ridge Wallet. Yeah, Steve was very frustrated with the, uh, with the process to upload the show now. He doesn't know the headaches that we have to go through in the back here. You know anything about the show yeah. anymore. What's up with the YouTube? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the YouTube was a disaster. What too. happened? I don't, I, I, I was he just didn't click one button to put the cameras over. Uh, why That's was the all. camera on him? I just figured a guest was in here, so put the camera on the Why guest. is the camera on you now? not on me. That's what I'm saying. Why is why is that not always the way? You never told me to do it. And I, I just never. I didn't know. I don't, I don't watch know. it. So we use like the feed that we send to YouTube uh -huh. is like the only video we have for Harrison or myself to pull all those video clips. What's Harrison from. doing? He's pulling clips. All right. Yeah. So I don't want to like take up more room on the screen with something else when you and Mike are the majority of the fucking show, obviously. So, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Mike's busy fighting with people <laughs> at any time. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was a couple of moments where Steve didn't like there were. Like, I don't care he doesn't listen to the show, but, yeah. like, he said he's still, like, he obviously doesn't listen to the show at all. I don't know. Because do he's want? like, oh, but he's want? like, yeah, I listen sometimes. And yeah. I'm like, no, you don't. He also like, just started a new business. He's writing no, a I, lot, I'm, you know? It's fine, but, like, he doesn't, he's removed himself totally, which surprised me to some extent, but yeah. that's Steve. I know, was surprised fine. how he came back in, basically, with a new project. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not 
critiquing the project at all, but it basically, he disappeared for a while, wanted to go around in a van, got to get out of the world, get away from the minifans, all that. And then what, a year and a half later, he's back with a new thing and ready to go and, be, you know, do the Robinson Report, the main wire, all that. I, uh, he said he was out of the business forever, but he's back in, baby. He's yeah. jumped right back in. What do you he's think? Break, the, he's breaking stories. What do you think the name should be of the podcast? The Steve Robinson Show. It has to be, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The Robinson oh, oh, you Report. think so? I think it's Robinson Report. Yeah. yeah. Well, then you're playing off into like the Kirkman and show. I think he wants to go off on his Steve, own. Who's turn. Who do you think to be listening to anyway? <laughs> Yeah, you what, never know. What are we doing? I you guess. Know. I suppose. Yeah. You, have, you have notes today? Uh? I got them on my phone. I got a couple of things right, to go bring ahead. up. Pretty, you know, like questions up. for Kirk? I got a couple. Or Dave or me? Or I, got, I got a couple. I'm uh, very nervous about one thing that he sent me. I'm very nervous for him. Why? And we didn't even get a chance to go over it, so we'll see what happens. Nervous him away. He has a little feature that he wants to do at some point, so... We got a game. Do you we got a Friday game. You think yeah. it's gonna be bad or no? I'm just nervous about it. I don't know. Yeah. Do you know you what get? it is? No. I mean, he sent me something, but I didn't. He told me not to preview any of it, so I'm just letting it be. Well, let's do it now. Let's, let's get it started now. Let's, let's do, do it. it now. Go yeah. ahead. Right. Play the music, dude. What's the music? I've got to pick anything. Oh, do you want me to play the Clemmer music? Give me some all bean. Okay, well, fine. We call this game "What's That Line" on Beyond Average Podcast. These need music. We learned that. We're doing recycled Beyond Average Podcast games. Yeah, yeah. We'll bring it to the KMS world. I told you I was nervous about this. <laughs> Listen, what it is, is what it is, is uh, you and Dave are going to compete. Dave's going to play uh, one of the I clips. Can't, I can't believe I'm doing Beyond Ever. What? Dave's going to play one of the clips. It's, it's a movie quote, and you're going to see who gets it first. Similar to... Uh, who's give... who's going to get it? Me or Dave? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then I got a timer there for Dave. I got a buzzer. I got a correct but, answer, a wrong answer. But he, has, but he has the clips, though. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, they're labeled where I didn't name, uh, name yeah, it. Yeah, he didn't name anything. But oh. I, my question... So I'm going to play the timer... And the correct or wrong answer while I'm trying. No, you're to... gonna play. You're gonna play movie number one and then the timer. Okay, I'm ready. Oh yeah? How do you know my bag will be safe below with the other luggage? Huh? Are you physically gonna take my bag and put it beneath the plane? Are you gonna go right now outside? I know what that is. That's, the that's meet the, uh, meet the no. parents. No, no. Meet the parents. Okay. And shut yes. your pie. Meet the Greg parents. Fokker. Yep. Okay. You want number two? Yep. <laughs> sure. Yeah, number, <laughs> number, number two is appropriate. What do you think of me? What do you mean? You've known me nearly all your life. You must have formed some. You don't get this yet? Come on. I know. It's a good David Chase. Well, I always thought that you were a very nice person. Dave, anything? It's an old movie. Um, Did you know I was an alcoholic? No, I have no idea. It's a graduate. Ooh. Graduate. Okay. Yeah. All right. No correct I'm answer, Dave. No, no, no wrong answer, Buzz. Come on. Uh, correct. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, I guess. This is a fucking terrible game. You put this on your show? Yeah. What? It's usually the end. You'll find your speed dating card. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, this wow. is for your... I've been looking for Sorry, that speed Dave. dating card. No, that's, that, I think Dave got that one. That's 2-1 yeah, actually... Dave. Oh, oh sure. Oh, okay, yeah, why not? Okay, <laughs> right, why not? Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. What's that, Mother? Don't you and Father are sad that you were killed driving Katie to her ice skating lesson all those years ago? Yeah, me too. Remember how they used to be alive? Papa? I can't hear you, Papa. What are you... You're crying? Ice skating still movie. In heaven? You're still dead? Fine, I'll do it. Yes. Now you're playing for Team Von Walden. So that's Will Arnett. I don't know the yeah, movie. Is. What is it? That is Blades of Glory with Amy Poehler. Oh, the... Uh... Is that Will Ferrell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In, I saw um, that. I forget his name. I didn't see it, but I could tell Arnett. How many are left? Three left. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Go ahead. Jesus. The state places a bounty on a man's head. I track that man. I find that man. That's I kill glorious. That man after. Oh, no, wrong. I no, uh, no, it's, it's the other one. Back James, James, back the authorities. I've stumped you twice. You have. Congratulations. Twice. The most important thing in business is honesty, integrity, hard work, family. Oh, oh forgetting where we came. Denzel. You got it. American Gangster. Oh boy, Dave. There we go. There what are you doing here? I'm over here now. You're over here? You're over here? Yeah, I'm over here with him. Oh. Whoa. We're waiting on Carmine. Yeah, we're looking for Carmine. He was here before. I saw him. He had a suitcase oh, um, and everything. Are and you everybody. waiting on me? Go you ahead. know it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Casino, right? <laughs> yeah, Carmine. Come on, look. I get it? You nailed it, Dave. Good job, Dave. <laughs> you nailed it, Dave. It's the worst game of all time. <laughs> I, actually, I mean, that's actually the worst game ever. Is that not the that's a recy that's a recycled game? The idea is to have like Brewster's a, Barstool Brewsters is better. <laughs> Barstool's Brewsters. Barstool Brewsters. Brewsters. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, it wasn't my best. What a disaster. <laughs> what else? Quotes. What else do you have? Uh, what else? Do you well, bring? Me, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I got a couple of questions for you. Um, sure. I'm. I'm 27 years old, and this is, I feel like you don't talk about your mid to late 20s really ever. Mm -hmm. What was, what was Kirk Minahan at 27? 
I'm still trying to write, like doing tutoring and stuff. Uh, mid 20, 27 would have been what, like oh two, oh three. So drinking, but like way a little bit less. Like just kind of not sure. Like no, I like in like will in the wilderness pretty much still. It, but like not not like in a bad way. But like never expected this to happen. Now were your parents like? Pushing you to do something? Not really. They were okay. I mean, I was, you know, making as long as you had a job. And I was like, freelance writing and doing stuff. So, I mean, I was kind of, you know, I didn't have kids, so it wasn't like I was any burden or anything. Right. So, no, they were they were actually always pretty good about that. I mean, like they, you know, at some point I was going to do something. Yeah. No, I I'm talking to my parents just like about the podcast and all that stuff. They're like, is it a waste of time? Like, what are you it doing is, with all that? And yeah, I I kind of sense that, but yeah, it's, yeah. at the same time, I mean, I never thought two years in I'd be sitting right here. Right. You know. So yeah. I guess it's kind it's come. No, you I should thought. get a job. Should, you think yeah, so? You yeah, don't think yeah. this is the future? I would learn a trade if I were. That. <laughs> would be my, would be my suggestion. Well, I would say, not even, not, even if you're good, I think it's... Podcasts, I think, are even harder to break into now than it was five or six years ago just because there's so many of them. Yeah. Like, it doesn't... Mean, you know what I mean? It's just difficult. Yeah, but I think he's on, at least he's on the right path with doing something about like an event like for sure. Las Vegas oh, for sure. versus. Yeah. You know, I, I hope it goes. I hope it yeah. does great. I just don't. I, I my advice to anybody would be not to get into this business because it's so difficult. Yeah. So how but, did you get into it? Rob Bradford, I've talked about this. He, no, he, but I, like, 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 how did you say like I'm actually going to do this? I'm going to sit down. I'm going to I'm going to apply to WEI. Like that doesn't throw up. Like that was literally I was at Upper Deck and writing. I've talked this. I, I was a hockey editor writing hockey cards, Ryan Whitney cards, Colby Armstrong cards. I wrote. Oh and uh, and I knew Rob from just doing freelance stuff and, and coaching with him. And he got the job at EI to run the whole website. This was 08, I think. And I was doing editing. I was like, oh, do you need an editor? Like. He's like, yeah, okay. But he's like, do you have anything else you can do? I was like, I can write fantasy football. I don't know anything about it. He's like, yeah, do that. Because I was kind of still different at that time. Mm -hmm. So I did that. And then he was like, after a few months of it, he was like, if you just want to write sort of columns and opinion stuff, go for it. Uh, so I did that. And it got like decent, back then, decent reaction. And then um, we moved back because they offered me a full-time job writing. And then I went on the radio with Mutt a month or two later. And then... Whatever, you know. Yeah. No, I, from there. I, I, I'm a total, I'm complete. That's a, but that's my point. Like I would, if anybody's looking at my career is like, oh, if Kirk, like it was a fluke, a freak of nature. It was, just backed it, into it. Total luck. I mean, mm -hmm. like really good, worked really hard and got really lucky. Like I would say equal 33, 33, 33. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think, I don't know. Did you see that picture of Adam Jones the other night at the uh, WEI party? No. Yeah. He no. was, there was like a whole company Odyssey party oh, yeah, 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 the other yeah, yeah. night. Where was, was there? It? Apex Entertainment. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. That's not good. It's <laughs> yeah. not good. Yeah. I just Jeez. feel like there's no like um, easy way to break into this sort there of thing. There is no easy way to break into this sort of so thing. So it's like, you know, what would you tell, I guess, what, what, how would you tell someone to do that? You know, just get lucky. You just get lucky. That's all it is. Learn a trade. <laughs> <laughs> I am not kidding. Like, I, I, if you really feel like you got to do it, you can't do anything else, then you got to do it. But if you, if there's 2% of you, it's like, ah, maybe I should, like, I would say then go work for a living what if you actually think you're good at it i mean do it on the side you know and, and, and have a real job and then right. hopefully yeah, get you out. have to treat it like a real job on top of your other real job so if you're working yeah. a nine to five from six to three in the morning or whatever, whatever maybe, you're, five, you're working on your yeah. content that's all yeah, yeah and you do a podcast you know and you just kind of hope like you're here you know you hope that somebody hears it and somebody hears something and it breaks out and you know but like i, I don't know like i don't think you and your buddy bullshitting is going to be the road to, to Dave's point. You have to do something that other people aren't doing. Yeah. Because a million podcasts, like not a podcast really like this, but there are a bunch where just two guys fucking talk and you're like, well, all right, where's, yeah. uh, where's the value in this? Yeah. The only thing I would say, and we're making, we've made jokes about it with the case a little bit. We launched a TikTok for the case. Yeah. Is like, that's probably where you would want your focus to be on TikTok and sure, YouTube that, in that short even, form. Right, but I'm not even build. sure that leads to... I think it could. I guess to just It's weird. Like all of a sudden one video could just yeah. explode and which all of a sudden Yeah, which is not the career I would want, so but you're yeah. right. Like maybe maybe that's the way to do it. I don't I don't know. Yeah. What would you be doing if you weren't doing this? Probably writing, teaching, you know. Teaching. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I got the Mr. Minahan? Maybe. I mean, you know, uh, definitely possible. Like I I would definitely be doing writing, I think more. Oh, he would be a jerk teacher. I don't that think would so. Play back, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um but yeah, I don't know. I yeah, I mean, like I said I didn't expect to be, you know, no chance, but this will be it. This will be the last job I ever have. 
There's something about this conversation right now. What? <laughs> it's just like a, I don't even know. It feels like a human resources conversation. Hey, very serious. Yeah. Well, he's Mick. Uh, Mick has a career goal, I think. I almost yeah. I almost sat there today and took out this whole show over, Dave. I was ready to interview him. I was. I thought you were going to sit here. I thought this was going to be this thing. Well, hmm. Hmm. What, like, what do you want to do? Like, what's your goal? I, you know, I honestly don't know. I, I, I really don't. Uh, I don't. I, I would like to do something to do with podcasting, um, yeah. whether it be producing, editing, anything like, on air. I don't care. Um, Why did well, How come you never applied for a job here? I did. Most yeah, right? when we did that. for free. He did that when we did that. Why don't you, you, you do just job for free? Hmm? Why don't you hire him? I don't know. Listen to him today. What would? Yeah, I mean, that's that's a good point. Right. Yeah. This is I mean, a good point. It was intuition. I guess. I thought of it that way. <laughs> Those games. Um, I'll give you. I'll, here's a piece of advice: If you're going to come on the Kirk Minahan show, don't bring any recycled game from your other show. <laughs> All right. You have to have a little initiative, a little drive. All What's right. different? What's a differentiating thing? Yeah. See what you want about the show. Even people hate it. It's different. Yeah. I mean, it's, it is a I mean, you guys show did 45 that, minutes on Angel Fissures. Correct. We'll do it. There's, it is, you know. Which I've you, had one, by the way. Is that right? Yeah, I have Crohn's disease, so I'm very familiar oh, with that. Oh, you have Crohn's? We're, yeah, we were talking about that yeah. when that came up. Who was? We, that was brought up. I had a teacher who had Crohn's disease. Oh, a shame, yeah, right? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, those yeah. aren't fun. I've had those. No. I, I didn't have to get it surgically removed, but those are not fun. So. Not good. Right. What else yeah. going on? Unless uh, you have any other questions about Nick. Oh, no, we can move on. Good. How about Alec Baldwin getting charged? I know. So uh, he could go maybe for a year and a half. They're saying he won't serve time. They're saying yeah, that definitely, won't. even even if something happens, he definitely won't get anything. Yeah. So what's what's gonna? He'll just put in probation or something. Yeah, I would assume so. Yeah, but he just right away like fighting it. I don't know. He just comes off so fucking pompous to me. What was he like, doing yesterday? I didn't see. I just think he came out with some statement saying, you know, what's he gonna I'm gonna do? fight. That. No, but I think he would just like kind of take your lumps, like let the legal system pro- play out, and you just stay quiet for the time being. Yeah, you know, I don't know. That game really bothered me. I know, it kind of changed the whole thing. Yeah, I stumped you. Yeah. I got that's, you. That's not the, I don't care about that. Just, there's no creativity. Glorious bastards, wrong. There's no creativity to it. That's just yeah. the thing you do on your show already. Yeah, but what, what it really is, is you're supposed to pin the two people against them and fastest one go. You know yeah, what I mean? There's fastest. no way that Dave's ever going to beat me in a movie quote game. No. He got you a couple times there. Let me, I mean, let me answer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I, that, yeah. That's like, what are we doing? I would have got meet the parents. I mean, Ben Stone. Let's sure, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I actually, I think I disagreed with you guys a little bit the other day on Jersey Jerry. Like, I think we feel like everybody... You have to, sh- you have to, you have to say I fucked No, up but I think that. we feel that everybody has to do that because that's what we would do. But the reality was, like, WCVB did a fucking story on that and guy. they should also say... But they're they should- not going to. Okay. So why do... But I said that with... I said that I, the I other know, day. I know, but why do I we s- expect... Why do we expect somebody... Who I work in, for the company. No, I would like the company to be able to do that. No, but that that's uh, what I'm asking too I much. I get it, but like, I don't think we have to expect it all the time that people are going to do what we think they should do. And that's Okay, why. then you it's, know what? Turn off the lights. We're done. We're good. We yeah. have to, why criticize anybody? Then? No, no, no. You, like, well, it's fair to criticize him, but I also think if he just fucking doesn't do it and ignores it and moves on, deletes the content, like that's not the end of the world either because WCBB... Who says the end of the world? Yeah, I'm just... I'm, it didn't come up the other day that if he just goes along... That's and what Mike said, basically. You lose credibility with your audience. That's don't even know though. I don't even agree with that. Right. I just think I just think for me, and you're right. For me, if we found out, like obviously that Mancock guy was a scheming. Had you know, to say, yeah, had no to question. Like, yeah. Had no kids. There's no chance. Yeah. Uh, so like we we I mean, we stole that money. Fine. Like we owned it. Yep. But no. But for real, like if we had found out this guy was doing this or that. We we would do shows on it. Definitely. And we'd own it. Yes. So I think Jerry should do the same thing. He's clearly not going to do that. Yeah. Or just send a tweet. You, I mean, you can't just send the tweet out. Yeah. But is that just like an opinion you have of him, like from a like a media perspective? We're not some news organization at Barstool Sports, so we don't necessarily have an obligation to do that. We just well, want. If you to have a relationship that. with your audience and yeah. and they're they are donating money because they believe you and trust you. Yep. And it turns out you got duped, which is like I said, it's, I like Jerry. It's not an anti-Jerry thing. Yeah. It's just like, hey, I fuck. It could easily happen to us. Hey, we fucked up. This happened. Done. Yeah. But you don't think he, you don't think he should do that? No, I think he should like. I would want him to do that. I agree with you on that whole thing, right. but I don't think it's like not normal if he just did nothing and just moved I agree, on I think from we, it. That's all. Okay, let me ask you this. Like, I think it's more okay, egregious okay. on okay. WCVB. Let's, Let's put it that say way. that we found out this happened with the Greg Hill Foundation or yeah. whatever. Do you think we'd play clips and make fun of him? Definitely. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. then why yeah. are we holding them to a different standard than Jerry? It's probably fair. Yeah. Okay, Yeah. there you go. I found yeah. a way. To, it didn't take, <laughs> it didn't take but, but no, but yeah. I, I yeah. get what you're saying, but yeah. like clearly Jerry's not going to acknowledge. Maybe he doesn't even know Because like what percentage of people really do address that type of stuff? I don't know. We always say that. Nobody does it. It's really we, not that big would. of a fucking deal. No, we do, but the majority of people don't own their shit. They just like delete it, delete a tweet, and move the fuck on. Yeah, and we criticize him for it. Yeah. So why would we criticize Jerry if he did that? No, we would. I just mean, think of all the people that... I just think, I, I just think it's dangerous. I like Jerry. I like most people at the company. I think this company 
it's dangerous sometimes that we have people that don't quite understand that stuff. Yeah. In respond in positions where it could really hurt the company yep. in bigger ways than that thing the other day, which probably was not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. It's also a really charitable company, obviously, with the Barstool Fund. That there's that you know you should be probably handling your due diligence a little bit more I think clearly so. when you and have I think, bigger you know, pictures. Like stuff. like we will. I, I'm I'm sure we'll look at these things that we're doing the uh, yep. John Stewart thing for. Yep. If we find it's bullshit, obviously we'll call them out on it. I Correct. don't think it is. Yep. But yeah, if if it is, we'll do a show. We'll eat it. And we'll we'll fucking make fun of ourselves and do we can't. But no, I don't think it's the end of the world. No. But um, I mean, Jerry did not talk about it at all, right? No, I haven't heard it yet. Is the least. podcast still up? Uh, I look. You were looking the other day. You didn't find it the other day. I did right? find it. Oh, you did. Yeah. Is there a chance he was asked not to? No. I don't think anybody knows about it. Right. Yeah. It's, it's not like he was doing it maliciously. Either. What was that like, episode called? I don't, I don't think an apology would be. You know, no one would bat an eye at it. You don't think you should do it? No, I'm saying nobody. Would, I don't think anybody would think twice if I saw him oh, send out a tweet. And, you know, just I mean, Jerry's a great guy. He's, he he did not do it out of no, yeah. He would just not. move on very quickly right. from that people. Friend of Jerry. Let's see here. Uh, I think it was like a uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's gone or not. It was it was there the other day because we found it. Yeah. I think it was October. Maybe they took it down. That's I good. Sure. Friend of Jerry gets a big Jeff Kimball. Yeah, maybe it's gone. Yeah, I don't see it. So, so there you go. Yeah. I don't know. Yep. Who knows? Yep. Yeah. All right. What else? Yeah. Um, did you see that Mike and the Mad Dog reunion coming yeah. up on first take? Can't wait. About that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sure it's not. Yeah, they make they make a big deal out of that. I don't think it's going to be like. Somebody told me that was the lowest rated 30 for 30. Uh, really? It was terrible. The Mad Dog. It was awful. Yeah. Yeah. It's also super, like I, I, you know, I love Mike and the Mad Dog, but that is very regional. Yeah, it's somebody, niche, in, yeah. somebody in Des Moines does not give a right. shit. Like they yeah. have never heard of it. They probably don't even know who he is. Like, no, uh, know yeah, who he is. Like, it's good. They'll do a reunion, and it seems like they're getting along well. But no, I don't really care about that. Yeah, not that much. And yeah. I like those guys, you know. But yeah, or, you see, or uh, like. speaking of first take, sorry. Do you see Stephen A. Uh, getting all upset about the Super Bowl halftime show? You see this? No, who's no. oh Rihanna? Yeah, he like came oh, on because she's like shaking her ass or something. No, no, I guess uh, she wasn't in the class of Beyonce. So he as was, an artist, you saying? Yeah, and like a, as a performer, and he was like, she's not Beyonce. Oh. It sounded like he was on first take arguing with somebody about a gossip thing. It was. He's been know. everywhere. Yeah, he's, he's, he on, has right? such a self-inflated image of himself. Like as if nobody's gonna buy that book. I, that's if you, you probably have to watch him go on TV and scream, but nobody's going to read his book. But like he was on with Hannity, I guess the other night talking and he was like, oh, I want to take over for Jimmy Kimmel. Do you think anybody no. who watches fucking Jimmy Kimmel knows who Stephen A. Smith no, is? Only, not only that, who would like, what's he going to do? I, I don't know. Well, I could see Stephen A. doing like late night. I TV could see though. that being better than Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, actually. I could, I could see him. <laughs> but I, don't, like, I don't think people know who he being is. Being buddy, buddy with all the athletes. I could totally see that. Yeah. Oh God, that would yeah. be dreadful. Yeah. He's not funny. Like purposely. No. You know? No. And I think the only reason he's relevant is because, I mean, he talks about the most important sports story of the day and people love, you know, yeah, if you're a sports guy, so you're going to throw it on. He just dances. Like he screams yeah. and yells and chan jumps and dances and yeah, it's fine. But yeah, I don't know. And by the way, this fucking slap league thing is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I, I saw uh, yeah. Simmons retweet, um, what's his face? Uh, Chris Nowitzki. Yeah. Did you see that guy? He got like fucking clearly concussed. Yeah, he was I messed saw, up. I saw was seven clips up. of people like concussed. What like, are they doing? I, Why is this on? This looks like the most dangerous thing I've ever seen in my life. He's going to die. Yeah. I got the jaw shattered. It, For what? <laughs> it makes no sense that TBS and like the UFC would go in. It, yeah, it really they, doesn't. Well, well, we know the UFC doesn't give a shit about people being concussed. Yeah, but they care about that image where it's like, you know, for a while they've been fighting regulation and trying to get, you know, just their sport in certain areas. They weren't allowed to be in New York forever up until I think 2019. So it's like, if you're trying to make it legit, you're going to have this on national TV. It's people crazy. slapping each other. It's crazy. Dana White was trying to say, like, you had to educate people about MMA and, and the safety around that. But people are like, they're all in, they're all trained. There's defense, like, right. techniques that they can take. It's also you're like defenseless. A, just also yeah. like, that's the same way everyone. I'm not an MMA person at all, but, like, it's a, it's a skill to it. I mean, it's two right. people. It's somebody slapping somebody. You can yeah. defend yourself. Yeah. This is <laughs> on television. 2020. I, thought, I thought it was supposed to be, like, a funny thing. So I thought that, there was like some was like humor a, I thought it was like a practical joke thing or like the what's the show practical like some yeah. fucking it's like, like, that. like hot wings where the people the guests come on yeah. and like they're in front, yeah. yeah smacking each other yeah no yeah. I didn't realize it was actually like a fight this is like no eyes sense. in the back of your head type shit every single time it felt like will the whites be on the show or no uh, Mr. and Mrs. Dana White will not be on the show <laughs> She gets to oh. slap it back, I'm saying. Season finale. Yeah. That would be good. You get a revenge. Oh, oh, email. Whoa. What's that? I just got 93 pages of that thing. Oh, good. Yeah. Good, good, good. We'll talk yeah. about Simply Safe for a second. Uh, 
show is brought to you by Simply Safe, as always, a longtime partner of the show, simplysafe.com slash Kirk. Uh, protect your house inside and out 24 7 professional monitoring uh, agents use these fast fast protect tm technology exclusive from simply safe by the way best home security system of 2022 by u.s news and world report a third year in a row you customize your perfect system for your home security i have it you get it as well simplysafe.com slash kirk s-i-m-p-l-i-s-a-f-e.com slash kirk if you go today right now if you're watching this right now on youtube there's a way now on YouTube we can kind of like push it up. Yeah. That's the mini player. Relatively new, isn't it? Yep. I discovered that the other day. Of when course. you can like swipe away from it instead, you can multitask on your yeah, iPhone. But, that's, yeah. but then sometimes it goes away totally. Some videos yeah. don't allow it. Well, oh, is that what it is? It also depends oh, on you, like what if you're watching it on a certain platform too. Like if you if you click the YouTube link from Twitter or something or from Facebook yeah. or oh, just directly. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. I don't know. Just everything's different. But. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So uh, if you're doing that, go. if you can do that, go. To, can you do that with our show? Yeah, I'm sure you can. Well, give the shot, people. Let me know. Simplysafe.com. Go do it right now. You get 20% off uh, uh, your order with a, and you get a free indoor security camera. Simplysafe.com slash Kirk. It says right here, Dave, in parentheses, all capital letters must say. So I will do that. <laughs> There's no safe like Simply Safe. Ooh. What happens if you don't do that? Then we'd be in trouble. Right. We don't so safe at yeah. that point. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. We love, love, love Simply Safe. We thank them again. Yep. What else is going on? Uh, I believe you talked about the other day, or maybe it was when, when I was in, but Tony Dungy's getting even more shit today. I guess he's attending the March for Life rally. Oh, and they're just like, I mean, it's not like he's bringing that shit into the commentary of a football game on Sunday. I mean, I disagree with my great friend, Alex Reamer. And I do he's apologize. been going at him. Like, I do apologize. I know you're in that community as well. Yes, sir. Um, are you? No, oh, I can I tell you thought for a second. I, 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 I just assumed no. you're young and you're wearing those shoes. I just figured, <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I'm we're not, we're I, allies, by the way, just to let you know. Who's that? Oh, for sure. Yeah, if you go, are. go to oh, town. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to a Broadway in. show sure. tonight, so why not? Sure. You are? Yeah. You're going to Broadway tonight? Oh, yeah, it's date night tonight. You're going to New York? No. Oh, it's Broadway. <laughs> like, isn't that where they, they travel all over you're the place? You're going to see that show uh, the, about all the... the the kings of the... What's it called? No? No, I'm going to see some show about, like, Alanis Morissette. Oh, the jagged little pill thing? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yep, yep. That sounds dreadful. Do they sing, like, Alanis Morissette songs at least? I'm going to guess they do, Dave. Yeah. So no, I think, they nice. sing, I think they sing fucking Cool in the Gang songs. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe it'll be okay. I don't hate Alanis Morissette. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big, like, theater guy, but I did. Like, I like Jersey Boys because I, I just felt like I was watching a concert. Like, sure. That's what it'll be, I think. That yeah. surprises me that Dave's not a big... I, I could see you being a theater guy. Really? Yeah. Okay. And well, I don't I'm mean that. I, I, there's nothing wrong with the stereotype it, yeah. you're making. Oh, with no. That, that's yeah. with anything. Yeah. No, where, just, is, where, where is this playing? Shoot Providence. Oh, you're going to, Pro yeah. you're going to Providence? Yeah, Providence is better for like for where I live. Yeah, Yeah. you have to deal with Boston. Correct. Yeah. Let's go. No, oh, it good. only takes me like 29 minutes to get to Boston. No issue at all. Well, good. Um, Have a good time. Uh, uh, Yeah, Alex Freeman. I talked to Alex yesterday, actually. And like I, we just have a fundamental disagreement. I think they want everyone fired when they say the things that they don't like. And is Tony Dungy anti-gay? Yeah, probably. But like, he's a meathead, terrible football analyst. Who cares? If yeah, exactly. get his scalp. Who gives a shit? Yep. Like, great. And it's now, not breaking news either. Like, this is no. Been, he's no. he's been like this forever. Yeah. I saw he was tweeting about like cats and yeah. Like, so he's a lunatic. I mean, yep. great. I don't know. But why does everything like that's a personal opinion of his? He put it on his personal Twitter. He's not bringing that to a television broadcast of a football game. Well, but so, like, yeah, sure. But there are levels of that, right? I mean, like, let's say that I don't know. Would you feel that same way if um, I don't even know Chris Collinsworth tweeted out that slavery should be brought back? Do you think NBC should fire him at that point? Probably. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So there are yeah, right. there are bit, yeah. levels to it. So yeah. you know, I, I just look at that's him a and, pretty universal opinion though. Like like You this, think that's true? Yeah. I, I would You think, agree with Chris Collinsworth? No, I would say <laughs> no, I say that everybody pretty much thinks that we should not have slavery. I in think this so, world. yes. Yeah. Yes. However, like you are allowed in this world to have an opinion not much, on not gay really, marriage or whatever. Not really else. anymore. Yeah. I mean you can, but you're gonna face the consequences. Philadelphia Flyers seem to move on pretty quickly. Of course, yeah. If you yeah. if you just let the thing, but I mean, I know, Dungy's not gonna. Is he facing any real heat for this? He's just there's a lot of columns. Like USA Today. There's another one. Some obviously Outsports is obviously doing it. Whatever he's that means. Clearly but, a lunatic. I mean, yeah. there's no doubt. But so what? I mean, he hides I, behind the religion thing, and he's not like yeah. he's like insulting the gay people on the regular. So well, and I knew Jerry. Jerry was all over this Flyers thing for a day and a half. Like, did you play? I can't remember. Did you play the audio clip of the NHL Network guy? Saying, like, go back to Russia and fight against Ukraine. Oh, what's his name? Uh, EJ Raddick? No. Steve yeah. said it to me yesterday, though. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, and Ivan Provorov can get on a plane any day he wants and go back 
to a place where he feels more comfortable, take less money, and get on with his life that way. If it's that problematic for him. And he's been in North America for a long time. He played in the Western Hockey League. He's now been in Philadelphia for many years. If this is that much of a problem for him to maybe assimilate into his group of teammates and in the community and here in this country, that's okay. Listen, you can feel any way you want. But I mean, the beauty it's, is, it's not okay. It's Seems reasonable. It's, it's all crazy stuff. It's, it's not okay all, to feel any way you want if you're telling him to go back to Russia. These people are all nuts. I mean, these guys, are, they're all nuts. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I know, but... Yeah. Jerry's tweeting, like, why isn't the NHL having a uh, pro-life day and stuff like that? It's like, okay, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just do that, too. Uh, enough, enough, yeah. enough. Uncle, I give up. I, yeah. I give up. Yeah, yeah. What else? You don't give a shit about this Steven Crowder story. Did you see that I one going know. around? I see all these Republicans. That is interesting. Though. I see, like, Candace Owens giving him shit for wanting money. Yeah. I'm like, are you a Republican? Are you, are you like, now you're not a capitalist? Like, yeah. which is it? I don't know. I mean, I don't have any use I actually for think both sides are kind of right on this one. It's, I it's get as much money as you want. I don't yeah. know. I mean, I, I don't know anything about the guy. Well, they so. basically, they, they offered him a $50 million contract. He wants more money, right? No. He's, oh, what is it? They said that if you get demonetized on one of your social media platforms, we have to basically take money. Like, we're not making money anymore on you off mm -hmm. those platforms, so right. we need to take it off. So some kind of discount. Seems reasonable at that point. At that point. Uh, I think he makes a good argument. Well, He's like, here we are as conservatives uh, going up against big tech, and you're telling me I'm going to be penalized because they, well, they punish me for no him. for things that we... I know, but that's also the reality of like a business. If you're not making money, yeah. you can't pay him that much. Yeah, I mean, he overreacted because he threw it out there so fast and like went at the Daily Wire right. because of this, when right. really all they they meant to do was say, okay, let's say you get deplatformed from YouTube. We're going to still try to find ways to make up that money. We just don't know if we're going to be they, able to do won't. it. I mean, yeah, so we just need to protect ourselves in some way. But it's also like, it's, I don't know. He's playing like the whole, I'm trying to build this thing for people who come after me. They shouldn't be I punished. Know, I, don't, I know nothing he's, about this guy. Uh, he's, yeah. I'm not a big fan of He's his. a pretty, he's and, huge on YouTube. Well, I know that, but I'm yeah. just, I mean, I've heard him, but I'm, I don't know much about him. He seems like somebody that, um, I've heard you talk about this. They take like the right wing narrative and just run with it. Or Clay and, Travis. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like he Will seems Kane, like one they of those. stumble yeah. on this and they're like, oh. Which works though. I mean, if so you're, you're 50 so million. So sure. you signed a contract with Barstool Sports mm -hmm. and all of a sudden Apple Podcast says, I don't, I don't like. No, but that's, that's not what, but they're, but. If Barcelona already put that in the contract, then that's life. Correct. So he's saying, like, clearly, I'm not going to sign this contract. Right. Yo, I don't blame him for that. He has a right I, to do that. No, yeah, I yeah. think you're. I don't blame him for that. And I don't blame them for putting those things if they're worried about that. That's just business. Yeah. Right. No. Yeah, you wouldn't have signed a contract. No. Like that, I uh, well, I don't know. I don't. I yeah. don't know what it would have looked like. But yeah. the way you're laying it out right now, like, I, like, hey, if. Uh, Whatever X amount, of, no, I'd be like, well, how that makes me. No. I think that his point was saying, that's like, just a lot of confidence. Aren't so. we all in this together against big tech? That like, if well, that sure. does happen, we should be working on other revenue models to well, make sure, sure that will, our employees those, are taken care those of. Those are hard to do, though. Yeah, like, like what? I mean, he seems to be doing fine with it on his own right so, now. Yeah, so, so why that's even, why he's from him? Stay. I wouldn't even. Yeah, well, that's even. why you could be very critical of him to say like this is just a PR ploy because oh, you're going to You're going to be fine, buddy. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. I gotta do. We gotta look into this. We'll do this with Mike on Sunday, I think. Cause I haven't spent too much time on. I got some. Said this, the Herald hired this Red Sox beat writer. Have you yes, seen and the tweets that she steals. Yeah, it yeah. seems like it's a disaster in the yeah. making. I don't know. I don't know this person, but boy, oh boy. it seems like it's. I think I be. saw. I think I saw. I think I know somebody that knows this girl. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I. I hope it works out, but you know, it's she's well, younger, she'll right? She's like she's like twenty five, right? Is that right? I yeah. think so. I don't right. know. I mean, she'll watch what she does now. Yeah, probably. Right? That was just like trying to. But that crowd is not thrilled. I will say that. <laughs> it's not a crowd. That's not a crowd you want to get on the back. They smell side blood. Of. They yeah. smell blood. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, among other stories, we're probably doing Sunday. We might have an interesting one, Dave. We'll see. Uh, oh, that one. Yeah, is. yeah, we'll yeah. yeah. Blind we'll for a see. second. We'll there. see. Yeah, we'll definitely. See. Yeah. What else you guys got? Um, all just kind of dumb little stories. You don't care about Liv going to CW, do you? No, I mean, it's, it's interesting. good that they got it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, you Did know. they release the financial details of that or no? I didn't see that. I, I don't think it's going to be either. overwhelming. I, I was going to say, I almost wonder if they're paying for it. Yeah. When, yeah. I mean, it'd be good to be on TV. Yeah. You know, I'll watch some of it, I guess. Yeah. You know? I had a question um, for you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I know you have two brothers, but really one, right? Uh-huh. Have you ever had to do a best man speech? Yes. Yeah? Yes. How'd it go? Uh, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Two of them. It's was fine. Oh, you did both. Yeah. Um, How many times you've been like a groomsman or in the wedding? Yeah, four, maybe. Yeah. Not a lot. I'm at the point now where like gets I've, old. I've also just said no a few times. Yeah. Last, you like, said no to be like a groomsman. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's just work. I don't want to do it. I feel like that's kind of crazy. Huh? What you say, Dave? It is work. Yeah, I want to yeah. do it. It's definitely <laughs> yeah. work. No, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a pain in the ass. I don't ever want to wear a tie again in my life. I won't. 
Yeah. And other than my kids, I never want to go to a wedding again in my life. So like, I just, these are things I don't want to do. You yeah. get to a certain age, Mick, where you're like, I'm just not going to do these things. Yeah. Just nope. But I, I, my rule for uh, a best man speech is like anything else. Just prepare for it. Take your time. Yeah, I didn't. You didn't? Mm -mm. I can believe that mm -mm. so far. I can, I definitely believe that. <laughs> nope. Like with my parents' eulogies, I, I took a lot of time. Like mm -hmm. you really, you know, outline it, write it out, edit it, think about it again. Does this work? Does that work? It's, even for a best man speech, if you sit down in your hotel room that weekend and spend three hours just thinking about it, you're home. I felt like I spent all month thinking who, about it. Who would have picked you for this? My role? brother. Oh, sure. Yeah, you're yep. obligated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your older brother. Yeah, he got okay. married in September. This is Al. Yeah. Al got married in September. Al got married in September. Okay. Yeah, great did you, ceremony. Where did he get married? Um, in Plymouth. In Plymouth, okay. Yeah, right you like his wife? Plymouth yeah. Yeah, no, we're okay. really, really good relationship. Okay. Um, what happened? Well, uh, I just got up there. I mean, I had a whole notes on my phone. I had, you know, everything kind of, not like written out, but ideas, talking Did you have points. the two of them play that game or no? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. No, but uh, I got up there and I just got nervous. I really did. That I got, happens. I got nervous and I didn't have anything in front of me to really read off of, like word for word. That's tough. So I was kind of thinking talking points as I'm going and I'm getting a little choked up too at one point where uh -huh. I was like, but then I, I realized that the, the maid of honor speech was just dragging. So I was like, once I got up there, short well, and the sweet, thing, people want to eat dinner. People yep, want to eat. I'm like, yeah, course, let's baby. go. Like, I'm come with on. You. Mm. So, um, yeah, no, it just didn't go well. It, it just did not go well. Any advice, Dave, for the mm -hmm. people out there? Uh, first of all, you always got to write it. it. Always print it out on paper. Do not read anything from your phone in those spots. Mm. Also, it's phone like is, great, it's yeah. also not a great look, I think. Reading it from the phone? Yeah. yeah. I did it. It was not not a good look. Yeah. Okay. I tried to go up there all casually, like, oh, I got this mic in hand, nothing in front of me. And I literally got up there. I was just like, ah. I've seen that a few times. Hey, guys. Yeah, yeah. Thanks yeah. for having me. It's one, well, one of my brothers choked in one of the eulogies. It was awkward. Really? It was okay. It's hard. It's a hard situation. Did someone have to come in and read it? No, no, no. It was okay. But it was, you get, I, I get that. People yeah. can get nervous. But I think if you take your time, if you have like, also if you have two or three jokes, you know we're going to work. Yeah. The other thing is the crowd wants to laugh. Right. At the, at the best man speech, I think. Uh, who'd you give the best man speech for, Dave? Uh, best friend, Pat. Is that the guy we know? No, that's Mike Deneen. 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 Mike Deneen. Deneen did not ask you to be his best man. No. Pat was Deneen's best man. Oh, is that right? Yes. You mean Deneen's party? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you have a problem with me turning people down? No, I just... I just don't want to do it. No, I, like, I mean, yeah. No, I guess I, I don't. I mean, like right now, if... Uh, person your age asked you i think that's completely fine to turn it down but as oh, like a younger I was, person dude, i was doing like 15 years ago yeah. really yeah i was like no i'm all set it depends like it, if, i just don't want to do it you can also I, not do some of the things that like, i know but then then you're the guy who's not like i don't want to do that either so yeah. it's just like eh, i'll sit i'll I'll sit this one out how yeah. big was uh your wedding and your wedding party uh like five or six yeah 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 not crazy i mean you know but you i mean is that now skewing more smaller or bigger is it smaller as the years go on or bigger? i think it's bigger Really? Yeah. Wedding, oh, wedding right? parties? Yeah. yeah, I think bigger. I really? Like it, yeah. That feels like the kind of thing it would get smaller. It's, it seems People like, like don't want to offend each other. I feel like everybody invites oh. it. Yeah, it's, but it's, I think it's, if it's, you do like one or two each, you're not offending. Oh, I guess maybe you're right. Because then the next person, next, yeah, I get right. that. Right, and idea. I think a lot of time has to do with like, if she has four sisters, you have one brother. Yeah, you're, you're almost like that. minimum, you're going that's five true. people that's on true. each side. Yeah, that's true, family. For family size, yeah. that's true. Yeah. And nobody honeymoons right after, right? No, they definitely don't. Did Al do that or no? No, he actually just bought a house. He did. Yeah, or he's closing on it uh, February 1. Yeah. So you guys are a total Cape family still? Yeah. Okay. Both of your parents still alive? Yeah, both parents still alive. Mama Marks is not the biggest Kirk Minahan fan. She's not? No, I mean, she knows Sounds you like from... a cunt to me. I don't know. <laughs> Am I wrong, Dave, or what? That doesn't sound like the nicest person. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm sure well, she's you not. But... I mean, you point, you called her baby boy a twat face and pointed a taser at him last time I was sitting right here. It's so. a shit. You know. Great. She's just protective. But there was a, it's it's a protective. Taser. It's a, it's a protective product. I don't, I don't think she cared for the twat face. You do have a face that resembles a twat. <laughs> you look like Chris Clemmer. Come on. Do you, Dave, you do see that. I see a little Clemmer. You look like you would play Clemmer in the TV movie. Oh, come Clemmer on. eventually definitely the Hallmark loses Clemmer? his mind. No, not the Hallmark. He loses his mind eventually and goes on a killing spree. <laughs> You're going to play him in the TV movie. The first 48, Chris yes, Clemmer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, I texted Clemmer the other day. I'm, I'm doing a little uh, private investigation, and I had to text Chris Clemmer what? about it. Yeah, about got, what? About Bradley Stein. Oh, we yeah. should bring this I'm up. I'm very, I, I didn't like that tone out of Bradley. Well, Stein I got the tone. I saw you uh, 
uh, sensitive colonnade because I saw people on Twitter correctly saying, "Boy, it felt like there was a Stein colonnade yep. friendship." When I heard that, something's like, going friendship? on. Friendship? Wait, like oh, that Dave colonnade? Yeah. And, like, Wait, friendship or you mean between Steve and Brad Bradley Stein? I got between you and Bradley. The Stein. way he said nuts? your name, Dave, he was like, Play "Oh, that producer Dave Colonnade. produced this. by the one and only Dave Colonnade. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> like that suggests like the th- like he knows you. You are kinda. specifically turning this to try. I don't know what you're trying to. The one and only. Nobody, nobody would have that thought. They thought did you have the same thought I did? Well, when he says the one and only well, Dave Cullen, the, same the thought, one and dude. only because he's been calling me an What's asshole Chris for two years. With this? Nah, it's part of my investigation. What do you mean? I think there's, first of all, there's no lies detected. I do believe that Bradley Stein is a Mena fan. Really? Oh, I certainly do. Why do you say that? It's part of my investigation. I don't want to reveal <laughs> okay. any of it I respect until, that. until it is all, all put together. Good. He's deep. He's deep in the investigation. So police department continues to thrive. He's working on Bradley. I'll send you 93 pages. Working actually. on Bradley yeah. Stein right now. It's great. It's fantastic. Important thing. <laughs> we'll do this one conversationally, Dave, right? I'm not going to write out the Bradley Stein. <laughs> yeah. So what, what, can you give us a little, a little hint as to why you reach out to, to Clemmer or no? Let's just say Clemmer likes to produce content and stuff like that. Oh, is he colluding? Who knows? Is he colluding? I don't know. This guy? Do you, think, do you think Clemmer's against us on this? No, no, no. Clemmer's team good guys. Don't worry about that. You're sure yeah. about that? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm Clemmer. just saying there's there's t- there's Why webs. am I not involved in this? Why are you not involved in the investigation? Yeah. It hasn't reached that point yet. It's oh, still, yeah, still early it, stage. No, it's still early yeah, stage. It's developing. It's still early it's stage. Developing. No, that was, this is, you guys are fucking insane. That was a tone of two people who've communicated about Dave Cullinan being false. a dummy. Have you, true or false? Have you put out more FOIA requests for Bradley Stein than Mick has for the largest shooting? <laughs> true, in the definitely it's true. True, okay. Actually. All right, good, good. That's 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 a good job. That's a good job. You're gonna be a fan of that podcast. I, I I'll, know I'm, I'll retweet it and listen to. It. I'm there. Yeah. Um, do you care if it goes on the Kirk Menahan uh, YouTube network? No, you shouldn't be thinking like that. Produce the best quality know, product Jesus, for man. you. Listen, I was a question. I, I I'm going to produce the best quality. I'm asking, is it okay all, yeah. if it goes on the YouTube well, network? We'll, we'll, we'll watch it first. You know, listen to it first. If yeah, it, it, it stinks, no. Yeah. It's, well, if it stinks, yes. Or, I mean, Beyond Average is on there, so it can't get any worse. No, it's yeah. not. It hasn't been on forever. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I gave um, him access to that. He you did? Show, Still yeah. an editor, Dave. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Um, What was I going to say? Oh, the the... Yeah, the oh yeah oh so you think Steve and Bradley Stein are working? They have absolutely. Now I'm not uh, saying there's a bad thing on Steve. They just shit talk me. I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, that was not. I have never interacted with Brad Stein besides that text message. Why are you call him Brad Stein? Stein? Whatever. Brad, Brad Stein. Brad. I've never heard that before. Brad Stein. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> My buddy Brad. Brad. Like that. Don't turn this on me. Well, I'm, I'm doing good work Brad. behind never the scenes. Heard. Behind the scenes, I'm doing good work. Multiple phone calls. I understand the Clemmer thing. I'm in, I'm intrigued by that. Anybody else involved? Stop banging your couple. A couple more names. Yeah. Give me a name. I can't. I can't. Why? No, I'm. All, I, I can't yet. I can't. Why? Text me a name. Go ahead. I won't see. Is this guy a New Hampshire guy? Is that how the Clemmer? No. That's what I'm thinking. No, it was, it was not. He shouldn't have used that tone. That upset me. Who, Brad? Yep. Brad Lee. Brad Lee. Well, Bradley. you said Brad, not me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, oh, great. There's some real winners on this one, Dave. Fucking alcohol bill between those two will be enough to choke you. <laughs> Okay, it's, you're, are you texting me another one? Because I have the three. Uh, I was, and I deleted it. Yeah. Why is that? Because <laughs> uh, I, I just, yeah, I don't want to put that one there yet. I it's still part of the investigation. I respect you. You're yeah. not, I'm not give up who Dave is working with. I will say Mike Montante is here. Friday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Next Friday. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Next Friday. He's like a, he's a minor part of this. He's a minor. He's a minor part of everything. But everything comes back to this program, and it's potential tentacles and things that could come off of it. I don't know. Do you have any idea? Even by your standards. Some of the things about. he says sometimes You're being are so just so I can't until the investigation is complete. We've we've talked to people who talk like this all the time. They're it's just true. trying to dance around the topic a little bit. When do you think the, the investigation, investigation will conclude? Yeah. Uh, Friday, Montante's here. Definitely by next Friday. Okay. Yeah. Sunday night when Mike's here? Um it is definitely possible. Will Bradley Stein join us? Brad Stein. No. 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 Okay. No. Okay. Actually that, I called him at ten PM and he didn't answer the phone. That voicemail so bothers you, huh? Oh, it bothered me a lot. Yeah, I could yeah, tell. That yeah, got you. Yeah. Montante's on the case, too? Montante's on the case. Oh, that's oh, good. Yeah. Wow, we got an it's all-star crazy. team here. <laughs> <laughs> got a real Loser. spotlight squad. I thought Clemmer and Montante hate each other. They don't have to be involved. They're not, like, working oh, together. Oh, you're working. You're working They're guys. separately. Oh, Dave's pulling the strings They're behind separate. the scenes. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got comforting. it. Yeah, he's comforting. He's a puppeteer. It's comforting. Yeah. What else? Uh, this is all dumb little stories. All right, we'll anyway. take some calls. You got any thoughts about David Crosby? You got any music thoughts? Well, yeah, so I'll send it to you. Let's see here. Yo, David Crosby is Mick? 
Uh, I know he's a musician that just passed away, but I don't. I'm not very familiar with him. How old? Yeah, you're young, right? Twenty seven. But I don't. I know my classic rock. I'm a Bruce guy. Well, give me a song by Crosby, Stills and Nash then. I'm not. I'm, I don't know. David Southern Nash. Cross is a beautiful song, but I don't believe he actually sang on that song. So that's the. That's always the big rumor was he actually because he was doing. He was, he was in the middle of his drug thing at that time. Yeah. So that's always been the big thing. Nobody really knows. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think he is. Yeah, I love that song. Good song. Yeah. Uh, I remember when Crosby was on, I saw some people tweet this yesterday. He was on the podcast with Scott Feinberg. He had a uh, documentary coming out. And um, and the two of them fought at the end. And it was actually pretty, it was just funny. Like Crosby, Crosby had gave no shits. He would fucking say anything all the time about anybody. He and Young, I actually had um, a guy who wrote a Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young book on the, I think it was on Enough About Me, not here, I think. I think, I don't remember. But I loved uh Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and Young. I love it. Loved Crosby's grumpiness. Like, they're not my favorite music. It's very California laid back. Right. Like, um, you would know. Like, you know, teach your children. Teach your children well. No, I don't. Your parents. No, you don't? No. Really? No, and I'm a music guy. I'm telling you. I, I don't know. Do you know uh, uh, Our House is a very, oh, yeah. very, very... That, it's that kind of music. Yeah. That sort of thing. Yep. Yeah. You have the clipper, though. I do. So here's Feinberg talking to Crosby. At the end of the... So it's a documentary about his life, but go ahead. And you recognize that song the, immediately was a special one. You're kind of a dumb guy, you know that? <laughs> well, I can see why some of these other guys have a problem with you. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But don't come here don't, and insult me. Hey, you're an asshole, man. You fucking go through a fucking kindergarten shit here. Yeah? You got somebody in front of you who can answer stuff that's serious. And we could have talked about all kinds of serious shit. And you're going through fucking infantile crap <laughs> that anybody could have got out of a fucking book. Yeah. Okay, well, good. You're a dipshit. <laughs> it makes me laugh. I don't know. That's, funny. Uh, that's good. Yeah. But he fought with Neil Young like brutally and Stills, and they didn't get Stills and Nash and Young weren't talking to Crosby for years. So, um, yeah, there's a that there's a couple of good books, a couple of good good documentaries. Um, definitely worth uh, checking out. But that's a total legend. David he make Crosby. a lot of like sitcom appearances, David Crosby. Did he? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just wondering because he, he's very recognizable. But I don't know. He also famously in the mid '90s, out of nowhere. Wound up on the cover of Rolling Stone because he was the secret uh, sperm donor for Melissa Etheridge and her girlfriend at the time's child. He was a secret? Yeah, like it was a like secret. she didn't know? No, she knew. Oh. She knew. <laughs> I was, saying the public I was didn't very know. confused. Though. Yeah, he, he was on, he was, yeah, like, I didn't know it was David Crosby. And everyone was like, this is probably, I mean, this is massive drugs. Right. Alcohol went to jail in Texas for like a year and a half because of this. Jesus. Uh, and people were like, what? No kidding. So yeah, very, yeah, I was kind of bummed out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm across. I, I, I'm a Neil Young guy first, but Crosby Stills and Nash and Young are okay. A little soft for me, but but not bad. Mm. Not bad. Yeah. Are you able to uh, listen to Joe Rogan still, despite being a big Neil Young guy? It's tough. I listen to Joe Rogan as much as I did before the Neil Young thing <laughs> started, which is 0.0. .0. He just know. resurfaced the other day talking about that, and he was like, I, I just couldn't be on a platform promoting this uh, stuff. And it, the way he said it, it sounded Neil like Neil Young? Yeah, it sounded like he had no idea what Rogan ever said. It sounded like he didn't listen sure to one thing. Yeah, it's, it's like somebody clearly in his ear or something. I have no doubt about that. Yeah. Just the way he was talking, I was like that. Are you a Rogan guy or no? Yeah, but not um, not like a sick fan. I mean, I listen to the what podcast like. you listen to, the Kirk Manahan show. Well, what else? There are many um, pod fine podcasts. I like the Tim Dillon show. I like Tim Dillon. Mm -hmm. um, What's his face is working? Oops, there, the right? podcast for Francis. Yes. I like his. Oh, is that good? I like. Yeah, Francis. I like. We I like had Francis show. on Beyond Average, the first ever show. You did? Yeah, he was my first ever guest. I uh, before we even had the podcast, I sent him an email saying, "Hey, I want to start this podcast. I got this idea to interview upcoming personalities." Basically, is what it was. It was a long oh, yeah, bullshit yeah. email. And uh, he was like, yeah, sure, man. This is right after he got fired. And I he was very transparent about the whole thing. He was cool. I mean, he was just awesome. I was like, yeah, He's man, a good guy. And then, you know, a couple of years later, he's back at Barstool. So shout yeah, out to good. Him. I like yeah. Francis. Well, come on here, but I'm going to be on the average podcast, Dave. What do you think of that? Yeah. He's been on here. What, yeah, he came on twice? early. Oh, yeah, come on. What's yeah, that? He we'll came have on early in the show's history. Yeah, it was right after he got fired. Yeah. Um, if he's ever in town, we'll have him on for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's his face produces Tim Dillon's podcast, right? Owen, oh, right? Hmm? Yeah, someone told me they didn't know if that was still happening, though, so I don't know. I've been hearing whispers that he's, Tim Dillon's not maybe the nicest guy to work for. Something's yeah. going on because he, um, his, his like, best friend, I think he was the best man in this guy's wedding, Ben Avery, was his producer and kind of, co yeah, Tim yeah. Dillon's co-host. Kind of like his producer co-host, just basically the second mic on the show, and he just abruptly left, and nobody really knows why. I've heard so. whispers that Tim Dillon's a dick. Like, I could which see is, that. Which is fine. I mean, yeah, I, I could I, definitely I could be a dick see too. I, I, he may be right in all of his battles. I have no idea. But I could see him being a dick, like not caring for the people that work for him at all. Can like, you imagine that, Dave? Mm. 
I mean, you care for people you work with. Ask him. You, you, you care about Dave. You asked a nice question of, of me yesterday. That was yes. a classy move. I texted that first. I, didn't yep. want to, I don't want to be too intrusive either. Yep. Yep. So, you know, yep. Just like you said with the Shattuck's thing going on there, you do things for the greater, for, for people. You're a people pleaser. That's right. Thank you. Not for the Shattuck's I want anymore. <laughs> I'm, no, all never set. I'm really all the set with <laughs> Dave, you love the Shattuck's. Uh, he does. I like Tom. Oh, he texts so, him like, oh, Kirk could be that. That is that, that, not yeah, accurate. You know that I don't really I get the I was appeal. disappointed uh, that he didn't text me that he subscribed to Paige Spiranax only fans. Like, did he this. really? No, I, he oh. must have. He must have. But she just released it. Yeah. How much do you think uh, a braised short rib is at Grill on the Hill? If you had to guess. Um, 19 bucks? You would think. twenty eight ninety five. Wow. Oh, Justin. You're running a hell of an operation. Chicken Marsala, 26 bucks. They do have a Buffalo chicken mac and cheese station, though. What's that, 20, 23 bucks? Eight dollars a person for that, amazingly. Oh, they got a little buffet going? Yeah, yeah, that's, I think you're a buffet world there. Barbecue buffet, steak buffet, chicken buffet. They have a lot, Dave. The fuck was Justin talking about the other told day? Told you, yeah. You 50 million. I think things. that's where he just got nervous talking about his job. He was just kind of, yeah. How much? It's a Kathy calling in question, probably. Mm. One self-serve mimosa bowl. That's not going to be enough. <laughs> makes approximately 25, 30 servings. Still probably not enough. The bar <laughs> will be open before and after this event as well. So if Minute fans want to go and oh, hang out. Oh, fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> thought you'd like that. I don't that. want people hammered at this thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, John Stewart would not want that. We're I got pick... an honorary John Stewart question for you. Sure, one second. Though. I will <laughs> say one of the people who win, they don't know yet. They're going to be assigned in honor of John Stewart. Instead of watching the show, we're picking trash. Uh, up outside during the entire show. I have show. to do it. Yeah, yeah that plays right. into my question. Yeah. Go ahead. It's a um, public park. Dude. I went and saw our avatar this week. Ugh. As I was getting up to leave. 3D um, or no? No, I'm not a 3D guy. Yeah. I hate the 3D. You could heard you're, you're with those eyes of yours anyway. There it is. Yeah. yeah. Let's make fun of the things you can't change about himself. Um, but you could correct Riggs did. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. But um, they load up, Dave? They load up. All right, hold on for a minute. I stood I stood up and I go I went to leave and uh -huh. as I, my girlfriend said what are you doing and I was like what and she looked down and she's like grab your sour patch kids are you move do you pick up your trash yes, to move here of course yeah you know what I never used to it's and then, a gentleman's that's of course that's but Christian you. your buddy made a good point the movie theaters now a lot of them they put the big trash can right in the middle between like the the separation Even then, would you leave it on the floor anywhere else I would forget. Like halfway through the movie, if I put the box by my... That's not true. You know what I mean? You don't forget. You don't forget if you, if you put you something on the ground. Maybe I'm a scumbag, but like I... Is your I, girlfriend taller than you? No. What? I'm not short. How tall are you? Like 5'8"? Five, 5'10". Five, five, no, no. On no, the, no. the license, it says 5'10". She must... Does she weigh more than you? You're like 110 pounds. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> does she? Probably. I got down to 133. Because uh, I was sick. Because Crohn's. Oh, yeah. You guys yeah, laugh yeah. at this stuff. Everybody oh, laughs. Oh, we were not laughing. It's crazy. Will this kill you? at IBS. Yeah, it would kill me. What? Crohn's would kill you? Oh, yeah. No, will it eventually or hopefully? No, I think the average lifespan is pretty much the same as normal people. Damn it. Bro. Yeah, no, you're, you're out of luck. Fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, all right, go ahead. Let's go. But yes, you definitely, of course, uh, Mick, that's the, the, the trash on the floor. Who I don't need you. Trash anywhere. No, like, yeah. I, I, trust me, my hey, parents Justin? would be disgusted by it when hearing about it. We're mailman tippers, we're all that, but I, I don't know. I, the movie, it gets me. It's like halfway through the movie, you're, you're half hour in, you finish your candy, you put it down. I don't know, you're looking under the seat after you leave. Like, you're I a Sour Patch Kid guy? It's that watermelon. Ugh. Oh, I love those. See, I, I'm not a sour. That. That's not my thing. That's like the only sour chocolate. Thing I, like. I just like chocolate. If I went yeah. to the movies and Harry and I would see Megan, I had popcorn. Yep. It was okay. It was Been on a big take five kick. You like those? I don't know what that is. The Reese's? You never heard of take five? No. Really? Oh, I can say no again. <laughs> it just doesn't make I mean, <laughs> have you heard of Hershey's? Yes, yeah, so okay, that. Yeah, all right. What's a take five? Um, it's, what is a, that it's, a, it's a Reese's product. I don't, I've never heard of it either, actually. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, I mean, I don't, you've heard of Reese's Cups, I imagine. Yeah, I certainly have. Okay, well, I, I like them quite brand. a bit. It's a, it's a treat. Let me see. Next time you're there. It's pretzels, the... it's caramel, and chocolate. Oh, no. I don't like caramel. I don't really like caramel. Not really. Caramel. I, have, I have what I think caramel. is a remarkably stupid candy question. That take is... five. One second. Take, yeah, go ahead. Um, oh, I've seen, I have seen this, Mick. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, I've seen the... I've seen the uh... no, get it next time. I'm telling you. This thing, yeah. That's it. Huh, go ahead, Dave. Uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. Fantastic. Better, the, better the, in the freezer. The actual, better in the freezer. The actual oh, chocolate. Mm -hmm. Is that just a Hershey's bar? I don't believe it is. What's well, it? Probably the same. I don't know. No, but is there like, can you just buy the chocolate that is the chocolate of the Reese's peanut butter cup? It's like milk chocolate. I don't know the answer to that. You know, probably not. I thought that would be an easy answer. I thought like most people would know. But why are you asking? Because I thought I was stupid for not Do knowing you know that. that. I don't know. Yeah. Just buy chocolate. <laughs> I'm telling no, you, some of the things that come no, out. No, no, but I don't like, believe. I I've no had idea. a Hershey's bar, and it does not taste like a Reese's peanut butter well, cup. There's no chocolate. peanut butter. <laughs> no, no, no. It doesn't taste like just the yeah, chocolate. Yeah, but you don't know that, though. You don't know that. Because you don't eat just the chocolate in the Reese's peanut butter cup. You actually don't know that. I don't. I, well, first of all, I separate the two. 
So yes. Yeah, I but do. you really can't though. Because they're still like, blending in. Yeah, a little bit. I yeah. know what you're saying. But yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. What's the best cup? Huh? What's the best Reese's cup? All right, we'll take some calls. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm fucking. You're an eggs guy. You don't like the eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's the little ones, and you put those in the freezer. Thank you, Dave. That's right there. Mount Rushmore cereal coming up next. Hello, you're up first. All aboard. All aboard. What's going on? Buffalo chicken mac and cheese. That's right. Yeah, Good morning, that's right. boys. Good morning, twat face. Um, <laughs> just, did any of you catch 98.5 this morning? Fred Toucher was talking about a date he went on yesterday and was, like, complaining about the woman eating too much food. It was bizarre. I, I was. I have to confess. Did, did I don't, you get a I, cut I, of that date? I don't no, listen. I, don't, I, did, I didn't see. I don't listen to it. Um, well, Fred, maybe Fred's dating. That's nice. And so his, his, his date was eating too much? I only caught the end of it, but it was, yes, it was something along the lines of that. Oh, okay. And, um, Fred's on the prowl. Yeah. Another radio question, if you let me, Kirk. Mm-hmm. You know how Megan Ottolini said she was going to greet Adam Jones with just a Marcus Smart jersey and nothing else? Yes. So Arkan the other day said he was going to greet Adam Jones with just a Carl Massive jersey and nothing else. Uh huh. Yes, he did. Yeah, is that right? Uncle Bob <laughs> I, be I okay believe with that. That? <laughs> that was a good question. <laughs> I did think of though, like maybe I said this, like, boy, if like Megan Ali was coming to the show and Lou Maloney said I'm going to greet, if she was a fan of something, I'm going to greet her with yeah. just a shirt on and nothing else. Yeah. That might be an issue. I don't yeah. know. I mean, yeah. I feel I like Adam Jones would get assaulted sexually by Megan Ottolini. Who knows? Never know. Hello. Pretty, Hello, up, Dave. Pretty close in those pictures. Hello. Hello. Wait, what was that, Dave? What'd you say? I said they were pretty close in those pictures. Well, good good morning. This is Dave Cullinane's burner account on Twitter. Boston Radio Watch. All right. Get a load of this. <laughs> yep. On this day in 1969, Bruce Springsteen had two of his poems published in the Orange County College Literary Yearbook, Seascapes. Yeah, I remember that. Which is something Dave could never accomplish because he is an idiot. Send <laughs> Thank you, Radio Watch guy. Thank you. We're going to get Mick to Milton's, I think. This is not... Yeah, take me. Let's go today. No, no, no. no, no. Me and you. You should know. You should go to Milton's. Me and you. I don't want to ever spend time with you out of here. We should golf. I actually think me and I you... Don't want, I don't want to spend any time Come with down you. the Cape. I don't want to. I saw you, you, you out of nowhere one day. You just decided to click my Twitter, go through my Twitter, grab a random golf video, and be like, this is the guy. I forget what you said, oh, yeah, but it was, it was out of nowhere. Total loser tweet. What I was, was it? like, "What that?" I was like, "What? What, what is wrong with this man?" Tweet, was it? I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. It was something about. I think it was with Max Homa. I, I tweeted out Max Homa or something. Oh, like rate your Homa. swing. Yeah. Oh, you didn't do that. Did well, you? well, you keep correcting me there. I don't. What's his name? I'm going to say. I think it's Homa. I saw that Dan Rappaport chips with his glove. Oh, I've seen that too. I'm a double I'm glover. Like, That's Hardo City. You yeah. chip with your gloves on. I play two. You putt with your gloves on. Uh, everything. You're hard on that. I wear no gloves. I think you could make the argument about putting without your gloves is a hard on move. I, I don't put. No, no, no but like, every golfer does. No, no, no. Yeah, I know, I but like, but like taking it off and putting it in your back pocket I don't wear is a pretty. Don't know. Yeah, it's a pretty. I don't know. Are you wearing snobby. a glove when you putt? No, I don't. But it's a. It is a snobby move. You don't it's need like to a wear golf a glove move. Golf. You don't need to wear. It's... My hands get dry when I bartend, so that's kind of why. You know, it makes it easier to grip the club. Fred Couples doesn't wear one. Huh? Hello. Right. Tough first round yesterday. He'll bounce back. Hello. Kirk. Yep. Paul Pot here. How you doing? Hey, what's up? Nothing much. I'm down here in hell, you know, with, with my good friends, Hitler, Saddam, Osama. And we were having a debate, and uh, I figured you were the guy to call for this. Okay. When a winner at the Masters wins back-to-back, who puts the jacket on him? Uh, the year the Tiger won back-to-back, I think the chairman put, put it on him, I believe. I believe the Augusta chairman, Fred Rudy, not- would, would put it on uh, Scheffler if he won this year, I think. It's not like the previous whistle. Like well, you fucking asked. You asked. You asked. I gave you an answer. I gave you an answer. You asked. Dropped. Seemed yeah. to offend him there. I mean, well, I mean, what the okay. hell? I believe that's right. Are you load up, Dave? Load up. All right. Milton's. Go to Milton's, by the way. We should also say. Uh, one day Mick will go there because he looks like we'll an absolute slob. So go to Milton's. Get your great clothes. Uh, Milton's.com. South Shore Plaza, Braintree, Chest Handles Court, Chest Handles, of course, the Burlington Mall. Great deals, winter coats, boots, which you can use right now. Hoodle- uh, hoodies, Henleys. Uh, 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 buy one, get one free suit event is still going on right now. There it is. A wide selection of suits separates from Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren, which are all on sale as we speak. The original sponsor of the Kirk Minahan Show from day one. Our first advertisement we read on the show, and it'll be the last one. Now, I promise you, our great, great, great partners at Milton's. Go to Milton's.com right now. I popped in the other night, actually. 
at the social, social plaza? plaza yes i did is that right yeah i did go to the apple store walked right by it who was in. there uh nobody was there it was late it was at uh get anything or no? six. i got a sweatshirt yes oh nice yes. good excellent i gotta get your take on something real quick before we go to the next call Tim and Canton, this is kind of specifically for him because I know he loves well, the story. Why don't you ask him? Well, he's not. He might call him. But, <laughs> the um, fuck? This is, well, this is what I, I want to get the there's somebody, on, there's somebody on hold who's called 222 times, so I wonder <laughs> if that's him. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe <laughs> not. Go ahead. So uh, I worked at this place for, long story short, one of the head sales guys at this job that I worked at, he was a little creepy and he took an interest into me. And I'm asking you, what would you do as a father? Because my dad was disgusted by this. Um, he, he took put me his out, cock in your mouth? Like took me out, so, so he was like the head sales guy. He took, he took me out to like lunch. This is when I was like 23. He takes okay. me out to lunch. Um, get there. It's a really nice spot too. And he's like, uh, what, you know, what are you into? His first question to me is like, what are you into? And I'm like, what are you talking about, man? And then the first, literally within five minutes goes by. And he says, when did you get your first blowjob? And I'm like, what the hell, dude? I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, come on, we're buddies and all this stuff. And all. That. And I'm like, buddy, you got to get the hell away from me. To the point where I ended up leaving that job. And this man has contacted me twice, leaving me voicemails. Really? Um, yeah, I have voicemail. I mean, the well, guy what is your dad wanting you to keep your dad, mouth shut. No, just being like, hey, you got to come say goodbye. Like, you, you can't just leave like that. You need to come say goodbye. To like, very, very odd stuff. Uh -huh. uh, Tim and Canton calls him Dickie Jeeps. Does he, he know him or no? Uh, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> maybe. Does he know the story's true? Yeah, no, he, he listens. He, Tim Ken's a big beyond average guy. He knows. I told the story. Oh, you played the voicemail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And uh, it, it's just creepy. And I don't know. But my dad was sitting there. He was like, something's wrong here. Like, you got to get away from this man. Yes. I don't know. Is that the what, what, instinct? I don't know. What, what, are you, what are you asking me? I'm asking you, what would you do if that was your son? I would be like, quit the job and, or, or you know, talk, you know, talk to somebody, you know, above within the, and say, this guy is asking me questions about getting blowjobs. Well, I've, I left. I mean, I left about a month after that. And I'm like, I don't, I'm not going to be here. But the guy called me twice. Those are weird questions to ask anybody anyway. I don't mm -hmm. particularly yeah, care anybody got their first blowjob. I, I suspect that this guy was looking for either a, like a twink or, yeah, or, sure. or he is like the loneliest guy ever and just, right. you know, wants to be one of the boys. Is he still there? Yeah, I think so. We looked it up on, uh, we were going to call, but we were like, it might be a little weird. Yeah, you might not want to do that. Huh. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Hello. should have just answered his fucking question. Fuck Tim McCann has to do with it, but hello. He's a big fan of the story. But, but uh, okay. Hello. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Hello. <laughs> Who could be a fan of that story? <laughs> the voicemail does it, all right? <laughs> oh, hello. Go ahead. <laughs> this guy killed himself prior to that story. 612. Hey, call the name. Yes. <laughs> You, do you, speaking of blowjobs, do you remember your first blowjob? I do remember my first. Go on. And what was the fellow's name? <laughs> no, no, we're supposed to say it's Holly to take the guy to come. Yeah. So supposed to say. <laughs> yeah. Come on. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna, oh, sorry. I thought that was a one-liner and gone. What should I tell you? Huh? We, I think you're going to say something in addition, though. I said I was going to say I'm an ally, so I'm not offended by this. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? Whatever. Yeah. You'll blow somebody. You'll do it at the State Theater. Going to Broadway tonight. What does that have to do with anything? Nothing. I'm just saying. I just wanted to make sure I told was you. It, I don't understand. I don't know. Which one? Which one? Which one will get you going with, with Atlanta which, song? Which Atlanta song? Yeah. Oof. Uh, it's free advice. And you're already. What, what do we got? Ironic. Ironic. Yeah. It's Hand in my pocket is one of my favorites. Oh, ones. is that right? So, yeah, I like that song. I like yeah. Angry Atlanta. I like you ought oh, to know. No, Atlantis. that's yeah, too. That's I like. Yeah, I don't like those. Pretty I like that one things. from City of Angels too. Um, was it uninvited. I don't know. Play it if you want. Who cares? City of Angels. Not thank you. No, no, no. I, I hate that song. Yeah, that song's bad. Alanis, Uninvited. Yeah, it's a good song. Oh, let's see. You'll know when you hear it. They load it up? Yep. Hold on. Whoa. You know this one? Not yet. Like anyone would oh. be. You know this one? Sounds like Linda Marks. Is this a different version? Oh, it's from the movie. Fascination with me. Yeah, this is gonna hit at some point. I'll remember. Wait, you'll get it. It's, yeah. Like any hot blood and warm on, I have simply wanted an object to crave. Here it comes. But you, you're all alone. You're all invited. You know this one? I think I do. Slight, slight. Oh, I, I would never. No? I would never really? call no, it out. I don't think. Yeah, I, it sounds familiar. I guess I so. Know. Yeah. 
still want me to go. Yeah, that's what I'm All right, well, you don't know. Yeah, no, that's the thing about Angel's soundtrack was a monster. It had that and it had... Uh, yeah, what was the other song? In I don't want the world to see me because I understand. Oh, Google Iris? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was like number that's one right for up my alley. 10 weeks. That's right up my alley. Yeah. Oh, but, that's probably why the guy was wondering oh, yeah. when you got your first bullet. Names, job. Google... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello? Yes. Hey, can we hear another story from that guy about his <laughs> <laughs> He's trying. That's Please. not a bad story. I, I just picture a little Mick, like, uncomfortable hey, hey, having a bad lunch and, like, uh, I don't know, I was 16. Yeah. Uh, Kirk, you need to just start throwing Clemmer a couple hundred dollars, have him come every Friday, man. I won't go that far. Let's not get out of control. It's okay. Clemmer's getting paid by the All company. Right. He, should, he should come here when summoned, I would think. Yeah, true. Clemmer told me, I think he signed for another year. Oh, really? Really? Good for him. Good for yeah. Clemmer. Unbelievable. I did not see that coming. No kidding. He's blogging away. There's like a spot for people like that. No, though. I meant when he first came on the show. I just Yeah, thought, I know I didn't either. Yeah. Did you hear anything about changes with Barstow Chicago with their content? Did you I see something that, that Eddie tweeted out something about the future of the show. I didn't watch it. Uh, the only thing I heard was that they want to make their show more like their serious show. Which I still figured was just like I guess maybe they didn't talk they as do much Chicago. No, show? back in the day they oh, had a I don't serious that. show. Is that right? So Redline Radio is not going to be called Redline Radio anymore, and it's oh. going to be more like what they did on Sirius. Which I, I assume even, I don't even know what that means. I mean, I, I, that's good. I mean, whatever. I, I assume that means they're basically eliminating Chicago-based content. Probably a good idea, and just becoming more like everything I think else. That's probably a good doing. idea. Yeah. I think I don't know. I don't know. I still think it's a good idea if somebody can like penetrate a local market. Like Brian Barrett is not going to be the guy to dominate sports <laughs> in so. Boston. I think, but I, very, think, I think it's difficult. But I, I yeah. think, but, but it's like we said when they brought Brian in, who I who's a nice kid. But you have to bring in real talent. Yeah. Like you just be, like Simmons is like, oh Brian Barrett, let's just put him here. Well, that doesn't work that way. Yeah, but I would say if like the Barstool Chicago guys couldn't do it with Redline Radio, and if this is proof they couldn't do it, I don't, I don't, know, I don't if know if it is or not. Yeah. But like. Then who the fuck can do it? Because I thought they did a great job doing that and stuff. It's hard. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hello. They load it up? Yeah. Good morning. Was it morning? Good morning. Hello. Whatever. It's Good morning. morning, boys. It's time for this week's episode of Who Has the Biggest Clip? Yes. Hello. Good to talk to you again. No. I'm a little upset today, so there will be no hood frivolity. I have a bone to pick oh. with David Cullen. Sure. Go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. Boy. Jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Well, I, I live out here in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I noticed you guys were coming to the Super Bowl. I DM Dave on Twitter, no response. Hey, let's hang out. But is that true, here's Dave? the problem. It beats me. Click Guy reached out to you? I don't think so. I didn't get any messages from Click Guy. I, mean, I would really like to do that, yeah. but it's a shame. I love meeting up with people yeah. having lunch, but okay. <laughs> well, Kirk, here's the problem. Here's the problem. He had no, he had no problem forwarding my number to Dan Shattuck. Shattuck texts me, and I, I read it directly. Hey, CG, parentheses, click guy. <clears throat> I am headed to the Super Bowl as well. I cannot wait to scour the Tempe, yeah. Arizona State oh, yeah. Yeah. campus looking for young Gash. Yeah. He spelled Gash all capital. <laughs> I believe that, click guy. Then, I believe that, click <laughs> That I do believe. And then he proceeds to send me a picture from a 1979, well, it, well, it looks like a 1979 Hustler magazine, but it's actually Alice Shattuck on a pool table uh -huh. with an eight ball right in front of her clit and says, <laughs> this is Alice behind the eight ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember those. Yeah. Well, thank you, click guy. I, well, I will say, yes, uh, thank you, click guy. Congratulations uh, uh, to Shattuck. I just talked to somebody in Winchester. They are putting a statue up in the center. A statue of Shattuck turning down a naked, drunk 15-year-old in a car <laughs> and not sexually assaulting her. So, and, and they'll say, but she was really hot, as Shattuck said, 40 years later. So, a member of the Young Conservatives? What a strange story that was. Okay. <laughs> What's also weird is it's probably not true. That's the most fucked up part. He thought that story made him look good. It's also weird that he's doing, he's telling that story, and his wife is right next to him True. as he's trying to take credit. They for are strange like people. They are. There's something freaky as can be. I bet. Something's really weird over there. No question. Hello. Hey, um, did you guys see this video of Portnoy? He went on this Watch Guys YouTube channel for no, an in-person interview, yes. and the guy really? just shit all over the watch. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> 
That's, I don't think that's a, I don't think that's exactly a fair assessment of that video. But go on, that's fine. That's <laughs> close. Funny. It's close. That's funny though. He he called it a shit watch right to his face. But he oh, said, but he did. Ter- it's a terrific watch. He did stuff. say it was worth four hundred dollars. It, it cost four hundred dollars to make, right? Yeah, they took it apart and said it only cost four hundred. And and Portnoy completely turtled. He did not know what. It <laughs> yeah, sure. That I believe more than anything else. That I do believe. <laughs> I think he went on thinking this guy was gonna you know talk it up, and he just. He, he shit on it right to his face. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. I mean, I love, you know, I, I hope it does great. I just don't wear watches. I just, yeah, yeah it's not a watch guy. I actually, the, part of that video too was saying like four, because what's it cost? 2100 bucks or something like that? Yeah. They said to make it for $400, that's not a bad price point. Oh, is they that right? They just didn't think it would be successful mm-hmm. because it's priced like in this no man's land. That's not a high end price point for a watch. So that's okay. all. They load up? They are loaded up. My favorite guest shark is a uh, guest tonight, Daniel from uh, Kind. Oh. Yeah, I like him. Yeah. I was happy when I saw okay. them. Right. Who is it? Daniel from Kind, the Kind bar. Yeah. Oh, oh, He's okay. okay. He's a great it. guest shark. I think he said Daniel Kind. I, was I don't know. That that I not. don't either. That's why. Hello. I wasn't really calling in to no, talk no. about. You, you, please. please. Yes. Yes. I don't, I don't, I don't yes. want to have this conversation, honestly. Yes. But, but. Kirk, what he's leaving out, I did call to ask Dave a question, but what sure. Mick is leaving out is he went and had a drink with this gentleman. Uh-huh. It's, someone just might be looking to come out of the closet and want some advice. No, listen, Tim, I, can, Tim, I, don't, I don't think that, I, you know. Oh, is that true? No. No. I you, really do, you really do think this. This is funny. Well, this is like your shoes. That's the second time assume, you stopped and been like, are you? Well, you're not wearing, assume with the shoes and the, I don't know, and you're small. I'm wearing Vans. You're I'm small wearing... and clean. I don't know. It feels oh, like great. a safe assumption. Great. Though, great. I'm small and not clean. a horrible assumption. No. Why is it so bad? We're, there's nothing great, wrong. It's wonderful thing. I, there's nothing wrong. You want a career? Be I, gay. You take a, <laughs> right. Come out of the closet, do a podcast Deal. about that. That'll take off, I think. Better than the fucking Vegas shooting one. That's even going to happen. What's your question for Dave, Tim? Uh, Dave, we when you mentioned uh, Crosby, were you thinking maybe Grandpa Walton or uh, Galaga? <laughs> <laughs> Could have been. They do. And by the way, somebody brought this up to me on Twitter the other day. When Dave said in the show the other day, "Oh, I know Kevin Burkhardt, his dad." Who are you talking about? Isn't one of his? Isn't his dad a play-by-play guy? Who? I, I don't forget. I forget his first name. But if I saw these people, I would recognize them. I, I read. I read the sports media trades. I don't think that's true. Dude, yes. you're terrible with play-by-plays. I, I remember you thought you Gary Thorne did the the. Oh, that was one. an accident. That was an accident. I'm actually like Baghetti's appalled. Best, I said Baghetti's that. Baghetti's the best mini golf play-by-play guy in America. That's true. I should. I'm yeah, appalled. I, should. I said that because that's like my favorite call of all time. That was a mistake, and I mm-hmm. hate myself. Oh, look it up. I'm on yeah. Kevin Burkhart's page yeah. right now. See if his father is a player. Early life. He grew up in Bloomfield, New Jersey, doing play-by-play games for video Nintendo games in his junior high school days, idolizing Gary Cohen. I'm wrong there's, about there's this. No, there's just nothing. Fuck. There's <laughs> definitely a father-son duo. There's definitely yeah, a father. Joe and Jack Buck? No. No, no, no. no. Uh, the Brennemans? Whatever. All right, so I'm wrong about the, the father thing. I would have known. Is his dad, in his dad broadcast? I don't think this is what no. I'm thinking of. I'm sorry. So I got the wrong guy. But either way, I, I would know. What's his name? I would know him. Kevin Sounds like it, yeah. I would know no. Kevin Burkhart, yeah. Right. Collinsworth's kid is uh, broadcasting now. Is that who you think of? Yeah, he's bad. He's yeah. fucking terrible. Hello. Hey, Kirk. W-Town guy here. Ooh. Got, got a question for you. My son is, is very interested in, uh, in possibly becoming a policeman down the road and is looking at uh, whether or not we can have an Explorer program <laughs> set up in our town. Oh, and I was man. wondering if you had any information on the possibility of getting that done. Um, I, I could definitely get it done, I think. I'm, I, just, I would just look. I would just proceed with caution. That's all. Tread lightly, as uh, as Brian Cranston once said. That, that'd be my advice. I mean, you know, who, who am I to I say? Just, I, I don't want to disappoint Fauntleroy. He's a good kid, you know. Yes, uh, we sure. call him Little Lord for short, <laughs> and uh, I think he'd be great uh, at the program. Okay. <laughs> well, good luck. Good, 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 hey, hey, hey. Hello. <laughs> Dave, are you thinking of Marvin Kenny Albert, you moron? Fuck. I think I am. <laughs> are you really? I think I was. I fucking <laughs> you such a dumbass. What is that? I was calling A to say that how Burkhardt diametrically is. opposed Steve and fucking Dum Dum are. Like, you're so it, fucking dumb. Dave, you're, you're, you're fucking dumb. Dave, you're fucking The same premise stands. I would make, I would be Dave, able to you point out Kevin Burkhardt. Marvin Albert? No, you wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Yeah, you, that's right. That's exactly right. You don't know. Just Kevin say you don't Barker. know. I would know. If he was walking down the street, right. I would know who he was. Yes, I would. You got Kevin and Kemi confused. That's it. That's all it is. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. It. I know Kevin Burkhart. You didn't take I your know. kid to Puss in Boots because you thought it was a fucking porn <laughs> movie. <laughs> that was being a little sarcastic. I did get a lot of people DMing me saying that movie is horrible for kids, by the way. Oh, horrible. yeah. Horrible. I'm sure. Yeah, horrible. No, yeah, I'm sure yeah, Puss drugs, drugs all over Boots. Drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it's unbelievable. <laughs> You are a fucking sick Dave, um, if you will, um, I, I still do love you no matter your stupidity. Um, I, got, I got three acronyms for you today if you'd like. Thank He's you. been on a roll lately with these, by the way. Go for it. Okay. Um, we're going to go with NASA. Oh, I don't fucking know. National. <laughs> How is that possible? NASA? How do you not know what NASA means, Dave? Mm. We must know a couple of them. I mean, think of S, Dave. NASA. <laughs> Space. Yeah. Association. Yeah. Yep. Station. <laughs> Uh, this guy, this guy loves space associate. I don't know. Say, do it. So space, National Aeronautics and Space yeah. Administration. I knew like Aeron administration is a tricky one. Aeronautic. Yeah. 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 Okay. How about we go with this one, Dave? Because uh, you know, along with the the program, uh, Dare, drugs, and <laughs> come on. <laughs> Drug abuse resistance education. Hey, you didn't let me do it. Come on. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, you're Dave. Jesus, you you are going to get resistance. You There's no way you're getting resistance. You cannot rattle me at the okay. start of a call and then quiz me, and then when I'm, I need to okay. take time here. Last, last one is SCOTUS. Supreme Court Attaboy, of Dave. the United States. Oh, All right, good job, Dave. I'll talk to you, boys. Thank you. I love you. Have a good weekend. Good job, Dave. That's not bad. Hello. What's up, boys? What's up? Hey, uh, so I uh, remember you were saying that Kate Manahan said that uh, Dave looks like Mr. Beast. Yes. She's so every that. time I see him, but Dave is like a feminine Mr. Beast. Right. He's like, he makes Mr. Beast look manly. No. So should we stock Beast? Mrs. Beast, that's, we don't do that here. <laughs> no. 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 Mr. I know. Certainly not. No. He does look like Mr. Beast. He's not manly, though. He's kind of no, like, he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's like, like a, a t-shirt and shorts guy. Yeah. yeah. How's his burger? I've never had it. Shirt sells well. Hey, Kirk. Good morning. I actually had Mr. Beast. I'm calling about something else, but I had I had a Mr. Beast burger like a month ago. They're they're pretty bad. Oh, is that um, right? Okay. Yeah, not great. But I was calling about um, Beyond Average Mick guy. He does kind of look like. Clemmer, but Clemmer looks more sickly and he looks more like a douchebag. Right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he, he, like, he has the most punchable face I've ever seen. I never really watched 10. on YouTube. Yeah. But I've been told that. Yeah. And he just has this stupid little smirk on his face. I've like, been oh. told. I've been told. You know what he looks like a little oh bit, Dave? You Google God. it, see if you what agree with me. Or not. Yeah. He looks a little bit like Roger Maris. Like a skinnier, like sickly Roger Maris. Let's see. Montante said Frankie Munez. I could see that. Roger Maris was like five oh, six. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Is he closer to that actor who played Roger Maris? Barry Pepper? In that no, HBO? I don't think no? so. Okay. I don't think so. But I could see it, yeah. If you had played him in the movie. Okay. Roger Maris wasn't sure. four feet tall, so it'd be <laughs> difficult. Hello. All aboard. All Mike aboard. from Canada here. Hey, good morning. Hello. Got a question for you, Kirky. Mm-hmm. I'm fuck so I'm eating ice cream okay. and I'm thinking to myself. Why the fuck does this vanilla not taste like Neapolitan? Uh huh. And, and I can't quite figure it out. <laughs> I don't know why that is, Mike. It's very weird. Why do you think that is? It, 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 I, 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 I'm, I'm lost. I don't know. It's Must be because I'm Canadian. It's complicated, yeah. Thank you, Mike. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I was gonna picked up on that one quick. Barso four plays tied seventeenth right now in the tournament. You know my favorite Bruce song is? Uh, no, I don't. Next call. You're going to want to know it. What is it? Ah! Guess. No. No, come on. There's 5,000. It's, it's, not, it's not a hit. It's not like it's not his first page on Spotify. Oh, okay. It's, <laughs> not, it's, not, it's not Born to Run. Oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> Give me something. 
<laughs> what era? Um, like early 2000s, I think. Okay, I mean, you realize there's a, there's a million songs. Like for me, I could do this all day. I could guess 3,000 times. It's a, it, I think it, uh, for me, it's a vibe. I love waiting on a sunny day. Oh, you're fucking. Oh, it's so good. You suck shit. Waiting, waiting on a sunny. It's one of the worst songs song. ever. Oh, it's a great song. Oh, you what know, Springsteen fans call that song when he plays it in the what? concert? Heading for a bathroom break. Oh, come <laughs> it's on. True. It's true. Come on. It's true. I've, I've typed that in the message board more than once. Got a, <laughs> got a few laughs too. Hello. Well, hey, listen, I don't shame people. If you like that song, that's great. That's 2002, crazy. you nailed it. Early. Yeah, I thought so. Hello. Hi, Mick. It's Berber. Oh, boy. Two? Uh, this is my, um, when I was a kid, I had an imaginary friend named Berber mm-hmm. who followed me around. Okay. Hello, Berber. I was wondering if you wanted to tell the guys about what we used to do in the closet together. <laughs> uh, Berber, I, that was uh, confidential. I, I, I don't, I would well, not Berber, like to. Berber, why don't you tell me what you did in the closet with uh, uh, Mick? Well, every once in a while, when Mick was feeling real up to it, we'd go in the closet and we'd, we'd, we'd make yourself feel really, really good. Okay, anything else? No, that's really it. Okay, thank you, Barbara. <laughs> oh, a lot of people, uh, my, I, had a, I used to have a brother. He had an imaginary friend growing up. That's not that unusual. It's okay. Did he have him until he's 16? No, is that what you did? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's fake. Do you believe that, Dave? Kidding. Mm. Of course not. Hmm? You never know what this guy. That's true. He's wild. Yeah. yeah. Well, I get that, but were you like a lonely kid? I'm I'm a bit of a loner. I have I have a good Not amount of choice, friends. but yeah. No, no, yeah. I, I just am kind of like a. I don't, I'm weird. I'm yeah. definitely. I prefer to be alone. I agree with. That. I have no problem yeah. with that. I respect that. Yeah. Dave's a people person. I'm an entertainer. That's Definitely. True. Yeah. You're gonna be shaking that ass tonight. <laughs> You're gonna be all fired up. <laughs> I don't know. Be like, you know, this is ironic. You're gonna be all happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh look, there's one hand in my pocket. That's right exactly now. right. Yeah. <laughs> Dave Coulier, the whole thing. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Kirk, just a mini golf point for you. I'm down in Florida, and I came across a thing called Pop Stroke that uh, Tiger Woods is involved yeah, we, with. We, we talk, yeah, we talked about this. He's just, he just sold it, by the way. He did? I think he did, right? I think he did. He really, yeah. Yeah, I think it's an so. Aw- it's an awesome thing. I've never seen it anywhere else, but uh, I think think something that you'd uh, really enjoy. If yeah, you we were going uh, to this way. Thanks for call. We talked about doing it, but we just fell through, I think, with Jeff Lowe and I think Stephen Shea. Yep. Yep. I think. Yeah. What is it? It's just like a nice, yeah, it's like a nicer mini, mini golf. golf course. Yeah. 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 Hello. One or two more, I think. Hey, Kirk. Joey Sindelar here. How you doing? Wow. Hey, Joey. How's it going, buddy? Ah, pretty good. You know, tough end of the season for, for my buck guys. Ohio State, but yeah. we're trying to recover. I understand. Yeah. Um, I had a very important question about Jeff Nadu's weight loss blog. I'm not sure if you had a chance to read it yet. I'm ashamed to say I have not read it. I've seen Jeff has gone from a complete fat ass to just obese, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's, he's well, he's not quite obese yet. Um, he's he's getting his way down progress. Okay, level. good. Yeah. Um, it's truly revolutionary. You know, if you work out, uh huh, healthier and less often, uh-huh. you'll lose weight. I would have uh, ever guessed that. No way. I didn't realize that. Well, good for Jeff. I mean, hopefully he keep. He does not seem like a keep it off kind of guy to me. It seems like mm-hmm. you can get huge ups and downs from him until he eventually fucking dies in his apartment. Mm-hmm. One with hope, anyway. <laughs> Kim Kardashian in Boston. <sighs> great, Dave. Yeah. What was she in Boston for? She's uh, right now. She's looking at that uh, embrace statue. Oh Jesus Christ! Probably for her show. Christ. You think? Her and Bob Sochi. <laughs> Bob Sochi's with her? He didn't see. He tweeted about it twice. I don't follow Bob. The day, Did he really? The day before it got unveiled, he tweeted something about like special, got a sneak peek at this. Like can't wait oh. to see it for real. And then when it was for real, he wrote just stunning hashtag. Oh boy. He would have seen it if the Patriots had won that game in Buffalo. True. He would have stayed, right. yeah. stayed in the, in the right. bunker. He'd be in the film room. Yeah. Hello. Wasted no time going back to teaching, so I guess he doesn't want to spend any time with his family. Is that, is that what he does? Yeah. Oh, he, oh good for him. Yeah. That's a good side gig for somebody. A good scam. Some college somewhere? Uh, local, yes. Oh, good for yeah. him. Hello. Hey, what's up, Kirk? It's Kingpin Pete. Wow, Kingpin Pete. We haven't heard from you in a while. What's up, buddy? Yeah, how you doing? Uh, I got a couple things. So <clears throat> you were talking about going to the movie theater with uh, your son a couple weeks ago, and I went with, you know, right after Christmas to see Avatar. There's probably like 50, 60 people there and it was just like too much the kids nowadays talk way too much that is true experience you're right about that i had that same experience it's just a social media thing i I guess i don't know 
Yeah. And then, like, the last two times before that, I was in Westbrook or in Bar Harbor, and there was, like, ten people. It was an awesome experience. And I would go from that to so many people. It was just like, oh, my God, it was terrible. What were you doing up in Bar Harbor? Um, what were you doing there? I work up there. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't beat that. I mean, geez, yeah. Is that is that little theater in Bar Harbor still open? Yeah, there's two. It's uh, called Real Pizza, R-E-E-L yeah, Pizza. Yeah, yeah. And they, at the exact halfway point of the movie, it stops and says intermission. Everybody can get food, go to the bathroom, and then Jesus. the movie resumes. How great does that sound? Wow. That sounds fucking awesome. It's in Bar Harbor? <laughs> It's right in Bar Harbor, right in the center of Bar Harbor, yeah. There, okay. There's one downtown and then... Yeah, I remember the one downtown. I, I don't think it was all... Was it always that? What, the downtown? What, was, the real pizza place? Yeah. You yeah, probably apparently, don't... 20 you know, years my, ago? What? My buddy said... There used to be, like, bean bags and stuff before COVID. And it used to be, like, a different kind of... They're, like, a different sections of, you know, for different theaters. But this one, it looked like it was straight out of, like, the late 1980s. Like, it looks like it hasn't been updated ever. Huh. It, was a, it was a pretty interesting place. They got three, yeah, they got three movies uh, playing. Yeah, but oh, fucking porn theater too, Dave. They got Puss in Boots playing on uh, Monday. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> God, uh, and then the other thing I started watching, I watched the three episodes of The Inmate to Roommate. What a wild show. Crazy. That they picked out. Did you watch it? Yes, I talked about it. One of the great shows of all time. I love the, uh, like the bald guy who thinks he's like a mafia. You know, the, uh, you know, talking New Yorker. About. Yeah, the guy with the, with the super religious couple. Yeah, I, I just watched the episode where he was test driving the car and he's fucking flooring it in the <laughs> parking lot, scaring the guy. But see, the religious show. couple is just as crazy as him. Cr- I think they're crazier. Uh, you, you'll, you'll enjoy the, how the season ends. It's pretty good. Okay, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, thanks for the recommendation. Insane people on that show. Yeah, yeah. Well, good to talk to you, buddy. Yeah, you got legendary Kingpin Pete. We haven't heard from him. Did you ever meet Pete, Dave? Wasn't he, were you there when he came to the studio? Or was that Steve? No, I was not here. Did I meet him at, was he at Jack's Abbey? I don't know. Uh-huh. All that. You know what show yeah. you recommended that's terrible? Is uh, that? Yellow Jackets. No, oh, it was a great show. Oh. Season two's coming back. Yeah, it, the, the the corniness of it is like, I like the island parts when the girls are on the island, but the other part is just like unwatchable. Oh, I agree. The modern day is worse. Yeah. Than, yeah oh my yeah, God. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's so tough that's to a, watch. That's a show flaw. that they. I, I'm not just gonna, keep it on the island. That's all I want. That's all I agree. And now they can't, can. right? Yeah. And now they're married that's why. to it. I'm like, uh, I do agree. I wouldn't go as far as you, but I do. I definitely agree. Island stuff is better than modern yeah. day stuff. Hello. Hey, fellas, um, staying on the trend of new shows, Kirk, I know you're a big Stallone guy. I was wondering if you uh, had seen the, I didn't the first like, season of Tulsa King. I didn't like the pilot, so I gave up on it. I read a couple of things that said it got better. Is the, Were they right? or Much that, better. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, much better. Stallone really unfolds. The storyline plays out. I, I would highly recommend watching it through. Right, 30 minute episodes, too. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Now the MILF man is right, perfect. Out. It's depressing. You should watch the first episode of Milf Manor. Dave. I'll Maybe check it out. Yeah, Vanderpump's coming back, so but I'll. Oh, check is that it right? Out. Yeah. Okay. Hello. So I'm a better help in a moment. Hey, Kirk. Hello. Hey, um. So I am a fan of Big Steve, but I think one criticism of, of his could be that he's kind of smug and thinks no, he's just smarter than everyone I don't think else. That's true. Not at all. And I was surprised when he was on. You guys didn't call him on. Uh, Bitcoin and that whole thing because no one has been more wrong about Here's that. Here's the problem yeah. with that though. I thought I just hate the topic so much. I don't even want to take a victory lap. It's it just bores me so much. Oh, agreed. But it would it would have been fun to see him. Are you in the middle of a choir or something? Yeah. What am I here? What's what going on over there? What is uh, that? Right now, uh, Moana is on. Oh, I understand. Mm-hmm. Sure. That. Father yeah. of the year. Yeah. yeah. I understand. Hopefully, there's a kid there. I don't know. Is he technically wrong? He probably bought it super, super low, though. He's been on it for so long. That's the other thing. So Steve's like, not going to still say, up. Steve's not going to say anything. I yeah. mean, you know. All right, one more, maybe. Jerry's tweeting a video of a drag show, by the way. So it's interesting. It seems like that's not great. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you feel like this will be a good topic on Sunday after the conversation you had or no? Uh, I'm 50-50, I guess. Okay, yeah. we'll find yeah. out Sunday, I guess. Because yeah. I think those players that I texted you yeah. are not going to be in it. Oh, really? That's what I think. Oh, it's that's why. Interesting. Yeah. Hello. Craig, did you just see the news about Gene Hackman? Don't tell me this. Don't do it. I feel lost, buddy. Oh, no. Don't say that. Oh, no. Tell me you're lying. Tell me you're lying. I've only seen one of his movies. I've seen nothing. There's nothing There's to suggest nothing. that. Don't There's be nothing. an asshole. Don't be an asshole. There's nothing. Is he still on there? He's or still no? here. 
Do you apologize? Yeah, sorry. No, that's all right. The guy kind of looks like... <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, there you go. <laughs> all right, we're good. I can't talk anymore after that. That's yeah, right. for fucking freak me yeah, out. That's tough. Don't do that. What movies did you... What stupid movie did you see? I th- is he the guy from Welcome to Newsport? That's the only one you've seen? Yeah. Of Gene Hackman? I mean, I've, I've probably seen like Hoosiers as a kid. Is he a Hoosiers guy? Yes, he's in Hoosiers. Yeah, I've probably seen Hoosiers in that. That's really all I can think of. Hey, do you watch movies? A huge movie guy. You've seen one Gene Hackman movie? Jesus I mean, Christ. you haven't seen The Replacements? How, well, what? You haven't seen Unforgiven? Or no, Heart- I've never seen Unforgiven. Heartbreakers? No, I mean, <laughs> what, what, what year are these movies in though? Like 80s? So what? <laughs> That's true. I grew up watching movies from the 60s and 70s. Like, what? Well, that, that's no excuse. Yeah. You're not, a huge, you're not a huge movie guy then. Huge. No, you're don't like, say you like Marvel. N- 90s on. No, 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 90s on. Avatar. 90s on. I like all the mob movies, like Goodfellas, Casino. All, yeah. What's that, Dave? I'm just shocked by this. <laughs> you look disgusted. <laughs> uh, we're talking about BetterHelp. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. We, have, we don't have any BetterHelp announcement, do we, Dave? Uh, not right now, but okay. there will be soon, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a good announcement, I believe, right? Yeah, I feel like you've done that announcement. Well, not the announcement, That's but not I feel true. like you've done that in the past. Oh, you, is that do right? you do that sometimes, just like organically. Is that true? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Right. If you say so. Yeah. Uh, you go to betterhelp.com right now, uh, fill a brief questionnaire, and then you get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists anytime, no additional charge. Uh, work with a therapist will help you get closer to where you need to be. No question about that. Uh, flexible, convenient, affordable, entirely online. BetterHelp is a great option if you're thinking of giving therapy a try. And again, if you can get matched up, if you feel, go online, fill out that questionnaire, you can match up today if you need help. If you're out there listening right now, go do it. Visit betterhelp.com slash Kirk10 today. Get 10% off your first month. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash Kirk10. The show is sponsored, as I said, by BetterHelp. We're thankful for them this week. And as always, betterhelp.com slash Kirk10 today. 10% off your first month. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash Kirk10. Anything else on your end, Dave? No, I don't believe so. Right back Sunday yep. night with Mike, I guess, maybe. Right. Does that work for you? Yep. Um, you going to send me those emails? I am. Have you not emailed them? What, are you going to text them to me? Or, uh, well, probably I, text it to you, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> what? It's, uh, yes, I will. I'm just asking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keeping them from me. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. We're, We're supposed like, to do an interview soon. Oh, is that going to happen? Uh, hopefully. Hopefully she's up. Yeah. That's not going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you want to promote, Mick? Uh, Beyond Average Podcast. Check that out. Which doesn't uh, exist. Yeah, that's really. Yeah, I don't really have too much to promote. Check out the Vegas series when it comes out. When? I told you, the spring of 2023. Spring of 2023. Yeah, say March. We'll do, do March 15th. We'll call it March 15th, 2023. Whatever that, whatever that Tuesday is of that week. Do you believe that's actually going to happen? Or? Yeah, no, I, I do. I absolutely do. I've, anybody I'm else working on it with you? Uh, not directly, but like you know, like I said, the people in Vegas who I know are helping me out with like sources and stuff like that. People I'm saying no, it's the production of it. No, this time. no, okay. it's Tuesday, March 14th. There you go. There you go, 2023. Perfect. Perfect. I listened to another, I started another Spotify original podcast the other day. <laughs> Everything that Spotify buys or produces themselves, it, 30 people minimum are on what this was fucking it? podcast. It's about some like a uh, rapper who um, stole 40 grand and went to jail for it and he was like up and coming. Oh, Max really? B or something, the oh, story of Max B. Because of a shitload yeah. of people doing it. Uh, is like 40 producers <sighs> at the end of every Jesus, episode. must be nice. Yeah. Although I don't know, I feel like nervous. I don't know. Yeah. Too, too much going on. Yeah, I think. Favorite, but you never end up like noticing why they need that many people. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> like Meghan like, Markle. There's like 50 people. Bruce talks. Like, she yeah. doesn't have a lot of elements. Bruce Obama, that. same thing, right? Yeah. Like, I don't really get it. Like, I, I can't even think of one that would really need it. They like monitor. Like, they'll have somebody who's literally monitoring the audio levels. While it's going on. While it's going on. Yeah. Like, I, I wouldn't want yeah. that. Yeah. Rogan's the biggest podcast in the world. He's just one guy. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, right. Part of my take is what? Three guys in there? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, Three Hank and yep. Billy. But I feel like Hank could do that himself if he just, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? I, feel I would like one think. Person I'm sure he did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We, have, we have one person who's on the air. We basically have no people. I mean, Correct. one, Dave does it, and that's it. Yep. <laughs> it's a huge pot. Like, I don't, right. I, it's very strange. I don't know. Anyway, Mick, uh, good to see you. Yep. Good luck with everything going forward. Thank you. Uh, Dave, so we'll have Mike here. So Mike, Mike, and Montante, correct? Yes. Yep. And big, something could be a weirdly big show. We mm-hmm. have a potentially big story. Yep. And Colleen's investigation. It's Ooh. ongoing. Which is ongoing. Dave's in deep. Any tips? My DMs are open. Email's open. Is Send that right? Way. Any tips? Yeah. yeah. That tone, it, uh, it stuck with me. It's going to stick with me for a long time. As you know, that's the only thing that bothers me. 
tone. It's being talked down That's to. That's true. That did happen. And on the telephone call that I had with him twice, he was talking down to me because he was too much of a fucking pussy chicken shit to actually ask for your number to have a phone conversation with you right. or answer the fucking phone when we called him on this show. Which is what I would have had. I would have had a conversation with him. Correct. You know, you wouldn't have liked it probably, but I would have had a conversation with him. Correct. You know, put on your big boy pants, put on your size 48s and have a real conversation. Fatso, right there? <laughs> or, you know, maybe reactivate that parody account. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry, what was that? I don't know. We'll <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> oh, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Look how happy he is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, we'll talk to you uh, probably Sunday night, Monday podcast with Mike. We will uh, talk to you then. Goodbye.